What can I see? All right. So I guess we got positive injury news. Slightly positive progress, maybe. Julius doing more. Um, Mitch. I don't know. I got the the Bondi tweet. The last line was Mitch expected back before OG and Randall, which I don't know. Maybe that's expected, but to me, it would just to see it in writing. It's jarring the in writing yeah. part. Yeah. Yeah. I that think was out first is going to be back first yeah. too. Yeah. No. I think you could take the Mitch is going to be back first news as that's, that is very much a, uh, that's a, that's an ink block test, the war shark test, whatever you want to say, where it's mm. like, you could look at that and be like, Oh wow, that's right. That's great. But you could also be like, well, wait a minute. Right. <laughs> the guy that had whatever the hell surgery he had on his, on his foot is, is, you know, cause like it's wild to think of now. This is now we're getting on two months since the Julius injury, and the it, there was like I we all knew at that time it was like eh, take this with a grain of salt, but the initial timing was was reevaluated in three weeks, right? Yeah, well, um, I think it was was it Woj who said the, the expectation is weeks in terms weeks, of weeks, uh, not months. Yeah, weeks, weeks not, not months. months was the okay, tweet. Well, and we, well. <laughs> months, m- months, months is multiple. <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, and then the I mean I don't know where what to say about the i mean he said og was doing more yes I think. he did <laughs> what I, I would like to i'd love to know specifics <laughs> on that. obviously we're not going to get it but well he I didn't bondy's to. tweet say just he was a participant in shoot around so what does that mean Probably he's shooting out around yeah maybe he was told like don't shoot a basketball for a week mm-hmm. and now he is okay yeah i get you know what shoot around implies he is shooting around so yes sure. that's, jonathan that's, that is that is correct that is what i that is the implication yes let's all fl- fl- flame mastery that's, that's why that's why i'm in my chair there you go over here buddy listen let's see who who do the Cavs have on the floor right now i mean this is like they have the kid porter uh who's p- pretty good for what he i think he's like an undrafted rookie or second round pick so they have him mm-hmm. tristan thompson Oh wow, Marcus Morris, who is like taking in un- like an unsettling number of shots for he's, them these days. He's on the Alec Burks diet at the oh, moment. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't you know, know what why I'm here. Yeah, and then uh, Sam Merrill, who's been great for them all year, but still, it's like not maybe a guy who was in their plans before the season. And then and then Levert. That's this wild. is who they have on the floor at the moment. That's a great call because there's a lot of guys that. If they're playing for you, you have major issues. That's 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 rough for them. Like Tristan Thompson and Marcus Morris to get like that's that's. I'm not saying those guys are like terrible, but it's probably probably not was was not in their mm. in their in their sights um, right. when the season started. But listen, I don't. I, this may sound uh, harsh by me, but like. I'm not gonna feel bad for for anybody. No, I mean, okay, how, how we, we? Look what we just got done talking about. How, well, yeah. I'm, so I'm gonna sit here and feel bad for Cleveland. Come on, it's not gonna do that. What's well, funny? Like last year, you could have you before the season argued Garland, Brunson, like tiering in terms of like where they are in the the point guard ranking. Clearly, yeah. Brunson is elevated beyond. Garland oh, by a lot, yeah. but I mean, this is just another indication where you know Brunson is lifting his team to a, a still a very high level, and then Garland is just not—he's proving he's not that type of player that can carry a ball club when he's the guy. On that I level. think we've we've gotten more information about those two, and also I think you can throw Tyrese Maxey into the mix. Mm-hmm. I think Maxey's closer to Brunson than. Garland mm-hmm. in terms of how he's dealt with taking more of yeah, a, a load point. this season. Um, yeah, uh, Dirty Dancer uh, mentions in the chat what's happened with Memphis. I mean, there's mm-hmm. one, there's one team all se- that gets hit just so hard that it kind of torpedoes their season every year, it feels like, and that's, that's Memphis. And the Knicks lose the tip. I'm wrong. It's your fault, Andrew. Sorry, never do it again. It's okay. I forgive you. Did... Sorry, I lost the feed for a few. 
seconds there. It's moving screen is what what happened. Did he, okay. he did not get Brunson. Oh no, it was uh, who, I, I don't I don't think it was Brunson. I'm very curious what sort of tenor this game takes on because I think we'll we'll know what kind of game we're in for. You know, relatively early. Knock that down. It's, it's buckets. It's so good with that there shot, man. Go. It's, and it felt like it went away for a little while. It did. Back. You're right. Yes, yeah. it's back. I mean, awesome. Great. Yeah. Uh, what is this game? 80, 71, right? Game 71, yes. Okay. Ooh, cut. Oh, you had deuce, but... Yep. We don't need to look at other players today. <laughs> Listen, don't make it out like Josh Hart's been selfish. The guy's no, like... that's no, no, no. That was a you don't need to make the right play. You just can make a good play and you'll be fine. Like mm. that's what I. Trouble. Meant. We are playing nope. the Pistons. Is what that com comment meant. That's next ball. Uh oh no. Nope. Benji's in the uh, in the YouTube chat saying never seen Deej without a hat. Oh really? Yeah, that's you. a good point. I don't think I've ever been on KFS. That one. Let my uh, guard down. You look good, DJ. Thank you. All right. I mean, I see Wiseman for a full game. I haven't. I got to be honest. I haven't watched a ton of him of late. He's had a rotation for a lot of this year, right? Yeah. Ah. Listen, Marcus Sasser should have a a, a light that is greener <laughs> than this than the fucking Incredible Hulk. Yes. Uh, today. <laughs> Greater than the incredible. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. No. That's, That's only because I'm looking at this little thing my uh, daughters made me where it's like, Daddy, you are, and then it's a bunch of superheroes. It's like stronger than this one, cooler than this one, and one of them is the Hulk. So, Is it me or is, is DiVincenzo's finishing improved, but like solely because it's reverse layups? Yeah, it's funny. I was just thinking that. Yeah, like yeah. take a normal layup. No, it, it, no. it's Got no chance. No dunks. Go and underneath. No regular layups. Or, yeah. you know, a reverse layup. Come on. Woo! All right. I guess we're not going to miss shots tonight. I make it. Listen. <laughs> yeah. Where'd John go? You're not on the screen at the moment. No. Okay. You're good. Benji still in the YouTube chat. I've done like 12 pods with the dude and now he's dressed to impress SMH. <laughs> All right. You have to wear a tux to the next. Ca you wear a tux. All right. Yeah. That's fair. I'll do it for Benji. Only solution. Benji, not no disrespect to the. Now, you know what? It's good to have us represented in the YouTube chat. too. I was gonna say, why aren't you watching us like in the playback <laughs> chat? But yeah. I don't mind that you're in the YouTube chat. That's fine. Um, yeah, the DiVincenzo finishing against the Nets was just fin phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Eight, I think it was eight of eleven inside the three point line uh, arc, which for him is mm -hmm. phenomenal. Um, well, I mean, amazing, and they needed every one of those, and it was. But yeah, the reverse stuff and the, um, it's like he. I, I just he feels like someone that gets into his head with the finishing a little bit like his floaters a little can be a little off and the the dunking is always can bring some anxiety but yeah the fin, the reverse layups with the inside hand I like it yeah yeah am I good now Andrew yes you're good beautiful for those not watching with us um <laughs> they just uh did a tribute to willis reed at uh at the garden tonight is apparently willis reed night did we know this was happening that this willis reed thing was happening there was a one of the one of the people that follow me that work for msg uh he tweeted out that they'd be doing a special thing for uh john's not clapping for the person that works at msg yeah, e falco's on the screen um uh excuse me um the wife of tony soprano right <laughs> Listen, she's an accomplished enough actress that she doesn't. She's Edie Falco. Edie Falco. You know? Got it. Okay. Um, she, she's now Chris Rock is on the screen, and I suddenly have the urge to smack someone. <laughs> Love. Him. I don't know which of, uh, which of those two do I like more. Who is which of those two has had a bigger impact on my life, Edie Falco or Chris Rock? That's tight. 
Edie Falco. Oh, well, I mean, positively or negatively? I love Chris Rock. I have zero negative. I know you don't Rock. because you don't like Will Smith. I happen to be a Will Smith guy. So as someone who liked both, I feel like mommy and daddy had a public incident. Now I have to choose. <laughs> uh, what up, Jake Izzo? He's in the YouTube chat saying nice to meet you. Nice to meet you at T-Squared as well. Oh, nice. Nice to meet you. Okay. Okay. Who is that? Um, it's a good question. I know it's Josh Hart <laughs> coming off the strong the, side uh, corner a little too far. Thing. Is that a yeah. headband, a mask, or <clears throat> honestly an eye patch? Hold on. I'm, I'm going to need to pull up my Pistons lineup card here at this point. It looked like a Pistons player. Thank you, Nemo. Oh, Jalen Brunson. Oh, DiVincenzo. Okay. okay. Guys. Okay, if that if that went in, I was gonna be a little ah. All right, uh, two two offensive rebounds on the same plays, not ideal to this Pistons team. It is not. I agree. I mean, I feel like they're with, with this small line. It was now the fourth game where second tallest player on the floor is six feet four inches, which is. A misnomer because Josh Hart doesn't doesn't play like someone who's six four. Shout out to JJ Redick uh, on his pod um, that dropped today, kind of talking mm -hmm. about how what his rebounding prowess means to a team. But like uh, even with that, it's like it, I feel like it's not shocking that this they've been able to hold up so well on the boards. But it's been it's been good. It's been solid. Really has, and uh, Brunson Brunson got beat there, but his cross matching against bigger wings doesn't typically be become an issue on that on that end e either so he kind of holds up well enough deuce me right, deuce. <laughs> i mean <laughs> listen I, I just like laugh every time he takes it make shots at this point because they go off they go in oh so devo often. nice there bro. it is you got brunson he doesn't need brunson and much. the finish and one um Another finish that was unorthodox, yes. not just a straight okay. layup. No, I now I don't feel bad that I didn't. I was not able to readily identify the gentleman who made the corner three. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I've never heard this name before in my life. Okay, Tosan Ev Bauman out of Princeton University. Hmm. Uh, so we have a Princeton and an Ivy in the same, uh, same, same lineup. That's, that's well fun. done. Eh, thank, you. thank you so much. <laughs> oh, look at this defense. Oh, Let's go. Love it. Oh, smothering. Deuce. Oh, just take the shot. Oh, deuce. Oh, hey. oh it's going to be a He knows okay. it. He oh, knows a little, it. A little smile. What was he? Two for 29? He was two for his last 29 and oh for his last 11. Now one for his last one. Josh Hart, ladies and gentlemen. I'll oh, take it again. No, there was no <laughs> chance. That was actually the right play. <laughs> there it you go. And then Brunson hits a three. Sorry, you said Hart was two for 29. And what was the other thing he broke? He had oh, missed. Oh for eleven. Oh for his last no, 11. Oh for eleven. Now one for his last one. There you go. How, maybe I shouldn't speak. To, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say the thing that I was about to say. I'll wait until the next. Hopefully, get a bigger lead. Uh oh. Uh, remind me to knock this down. That. Ah, Brunson. A little long. It's okay. Is that good? No, that's not good. I guess Ibalman is not. It's maybe, maybe the Ibalman explosion is it's not going to happen tonight. We'll see. Ah, mm. it's okay. Get big. Oh. What a pain. 
<laughs> what a pain in the ass he is to deal with. 22 to 8. The Knicks had the lead. That's a ah, that's a second uh, foul. That's Brunson. okay. Yeah. We got Benji in the I, in the chat. Hi, Benji. I was 0 for 17, not 0 for 11. Excuse it was 0 for 17. Me. God. Apologies. Yeah, Benji sent out the tweet today just eviscerating Josh Hart for no reason. Well, we had the same well, chat on the on the during uh I put him in as a detention candidate, so we had the exact yeah. same Benji? chats. Yeah, yeah. Benji put out a tweet with the exact same yeah, chats yeah. that we quoted on the show. Benji, today. if he sends out a few more tweets like that, he's gonna be a principal uh superintendent suspension candidate over here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then he was oh hold on, I'll what? wait for the break. He also had a a tank detective tweet that got rebuffed by my pregame pod yesterday. That's a foul? I mm, hope yeah. so. He okay, they called it. <laughs> I just didn't call it right away. It's like, that's a foul, right? Uh, uh, 30, uh, Cavs, uh, Hornets is 30 to 27 uh, Cleveland, by the way. 33 to 27 Cleveland. I don't know why when you said Cavs, Hornets is tied earlier, I thought, like, oh, that's a late game, right? Ooh! Oh, that was right. almost so nice. I love that they tried that. Yeah. No, cl- cl- clearly, they are not going to be distressed if you shoot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Foul? Foul. Okay. Is that was that a dangerous play? I want to. It was, and all, and they're laughing at it because of how dangerous it is. I. <laughs> I'd no. rather not. He wasn't open. I understand what Josh is doing, but like. Oh, I. Oh no! I was saying it was that a dangerous play by Ivy. Oh, I don't he, think we need to throw that type of pass yeah, unless he's like yeah, clearly wide you are, open. You are correct. That is the. Well, yes. Is oh, other, how do you do that? You're oh, the Pistons. <laughs> Oh man, his hands, man. There are 15 0 so runs. Good. Yeah, remember it was 9 8. <laughs> uh, Knicks uh, are playing like they don't want to. You know what? This this is this feels like the, these starters don't want to play 40 minutes tonight. Yep, this <laughs> it's is... like they just let's get this, let's get this wrapped up. I don't know if it'll happen because of Tibbs, but they, they're trying to wrap great, this early. Great point. This, yeah. this, this feels like a team that wants, wants Shake Milton minutes. Yes. I was actually, you know, with the news that Burks is out, I might we get like just regular shake minutes, you know? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I'm like, unless maybe he's going to play eight. Look, if we didn't, then why did he sign here? That's it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. what? If he can't play for Alex, no, Burks you know, out, then why did he sign? No, there's here? no, there's no wealth. You're, you're right. You're correct. That's, yeah, that's correct. Wait. So Scott Stern, who, called me a proud boy earlier said that Mar- oh Marcus God. Morris got ejected in Cleveland. Something happened. I I'm look. I just look on my screen. It's people pogo sticking on the court. Okay. I'm, I shit you not. I mean, it's impressive pogo sticking, but sounds like fun. I don't think I've ever actually been on a real pogo stick. It's not it seems fun. Like a great time. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, okay. No, yeah. it's a steep learning curve. Oh, that okay. Way. Yeah, you got to take some bumps and bruises. Never got over the hump for my myself. <laughs> um, you talk about it like skiing. Or something. It's hard, sure. man. It's listen. I got I got one at like a flea market a couple of years ago and decided to take it out with the kids, and it was not fun. Not Look a good at idea. You. <laughs> I don't want to like. I, I don't want to push the issue here, but like, is is there photo or video no, evidence of not of not that? No, unfortunately. No? I wish I would have liked that. Just, I just, just yeah. asking. That's all. Yeah. Um, great minutes for Hartenstein again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just, just he's like incredible. I think he had two deflections amongst his, you know, scoring and passing and all that. He was a plus sixteen in seven minutes. Now the whole mm-hmm. starting five is currently a plus sixteen. We'll see. I was, come on, you sound like happened. Clyde. <laughs> I, no, but like this is a trend with Hartenstein. Like he's a yeah. plus Andrew. double digits. John, what was he against the Warriors? What was he against the Kings? I know. Did you what know was the he whole, against the Nets? The whole starting five has a plus, right? <laughs> yes, what? but okay. Now we're gonna watch and see if it's like yes, we will the watch. starting five we will. goes down. We'll watch. I know it's the Pistons, but you knew the point I was making. I. I now I'm going overboard. I'm not, I'm just gonna track plus minus for the rest of the game. <laughs> Please do. Okay. 
Now Hartenstein's plus sixteen. The rest I, plus twenty one. So I pray to he's the, not that big a difference. I pray to the good Lord that his plus minus does uh, not. There you go. Out now it goes up. Way. Okay, so they're better without Hartenstein. That's the. This is a tw- is a twenty to nothing run. E- t- yes, twenty, 20 to, to nothing. nothing. Okie dokie. <laughs> we should probably start listening for how this compares with their longest runs of the season because I don't remember a longer one offhand. Oh, it's a good box out. Precious. Great box. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Oh, take him. Fournier. Nice shot. Ah, come on. That was a good shot. Uh, it was a good All box right. out. He didn't turn around. And now they have numbers. So there's an evil Dante and a good Dante. Oh, oh that was a nice that. attempt. That was a nice attempt there. Uh, um, DJ, what do you make of uh, Jericho playing effectively over Sims again in the last couple of games? You mean over Precious? What did I? Oh, yeah, over Jericho. Sims. Yeah. So I, I think I'm going to take the coach at its word and say it's situation. Was it just me that did uh, DJ froze, die for? Froze. DJ froze. Oh, okay. I think he was going for it was situational. Well, Excuse me there for a second. Yes, yeah, but you were you, saying you take the coach okay. at his word where he said it was because of the of the physical teams that they were playing that could basically hit, hurt them on the boards. That's I think that's what he was going for. Tibbs is challenging. That's that is in fucking incredible. Up twenty to nine, he's challenging. This is this is our guy. Sorry, I see he's going you, out I see today. You, DJ. I apologize. There we go. You're good. All right. Good. Yeah. You're from the top. Um, I think it's situational depending on the matchup. You know, the physicality. I think what was the was it the um I'm trying to think of the first game where he kind of went to Sims first. Because it, it did... was the Denver game. Yeah. Well, they... okay. There was a game where he like went to Precious for a bit and then so that's the Golden State game where he went to Precious for the first right. hint of yes. backup minutes. And then just for the end of the second, he went to Sims. Mm-hmm. And then in the Denver game, he added a rotation that didn't allow Josh Hart to play 48 minutes. Right. Yeah. So yeah, Denver I- DJ has D- uh, DeAndre Jordan, uh, mm-hmm. who, well, is limited in many areas at this stage of his career, can still get you on the boards. Yeah. So it felt like it felt like a worthy call there. Um, Dayron I- Sharp's the best offensive rebounder per minute in the sport. Yeah, and he even gave Sims trouble. You know, when he first he's, came in the game, he gives everybody trouble. <laughs> yeah, he's so just a, he's a force. You yeah. kind of have to when you don't see it, you have to adjust to the just sheer nature of how he plays. It's really unique. Yeah. Uh, and I thought Sims figured it out in the second half, but I thought in that matchup, it just makes it made more sense. And I I, I think it's fine to go yeah. base it on situation and you know who who the opponent is. It's not typical of the of tibs but i think it's completely reasonable you know they're, they're, they're to me like they're i would go i would say precious is the better player but i think there are certainly matchups where i prefer sims out there than precious it, yeah it's it's just interesting i'm not i'm not disagreeing yeah i'm obviously not disagree with anything yeah um i do think it's interesting because it, it, we kind of we're looking at Precious there for a while. Well, he at times over the last few months, where it's, it's like, man, he has has he elevated to that point where it's like you just got to figure out ways to get him on the floor because mm-hmm. his play so demands it. And that was more to me that recently this was a reflection of like, all right, we're not we're not quite there yet. Like the situation still needs to be correct, which again, yeah. you know, reasonable minds could differ. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. And Knicks win the challenge. Ah, good job, awesome. Tommy. Yeah, where the fuck did the foul be? I can't even yeah. see where, like, what they... Wait, why did the Raptors have the ball? what I miss? Because uh, it went off of Precious. It was a block out of bounds. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Okay. It was a Tibbs spite challenge, I think. It was correct, but, like, it's not like the risk-reward there was probably yeah. warranted it. All right, so we get Boyan minutes. Uh, here's where that plus minus goes away. Yeah. And the run's over. It wasn't nice. Boyan's fault, but the run's over. Who was that? Met two. two. Yes. Who was one of the Pistons leading scorers the other night against the uh, Pelicans, believe it or not. Him and Malachi Flynn tied for the team lead with 17 points a pop. Oh, wow. Jesus Christmas. That can't. Oh, make... Spain pick and roll. That's just <clears throat> horrible defense, for, too. Oh, my yeah. gosh. <clears throat>
Come on, Bogey. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> of course that goes in. <laughs> Listen, if there's if there's a game for Fournier to get, like, 30, it could, you know, and mm-hmm. hopefully not matter if this one. <clears throat> oh, good pass. Yes. Oh, nice. Bogey. That's really nice. That was really nice. Ha- yep. Has... Has Bogey missed a ton of open guys? He's missed some. Has he missed? I, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna kill his passing as much as he's just been sloppy as all hell with the ball and he's yeah, getting the turnovers. Ball. Yeah, yes, and the yeah, I, I think his passing is when he's made passes. You can see where his gravity can take you. Sure, yeah. pretty good. He's he he draws attention. Hold on. Oh, dude, that's a really? Tough shot. Oh, tough shot. I, I was right. surprised it missed. The thing about Bogey, I don't know if you I said this to you or, or both of you, um, to you, DJ, or both of you, like it's very much possession to possession at this point. Like I said this on the post game. That's why the turnovers mixed in with the nice drives sometimes yeah. are part of the equation. Like that was a nice possession. The next time he might throw it over his head out of bounds. Yeah. We hope not. Then he might hit a three, then he might mm-hmm. throw it over his head out of bounds again. And does DJ, it feel what is, like? Go DJ, ahead. What does that tape do? Oh man, I don't know if someone in the ch- I see it all the time. Maybe someone in the chat can sort of. Okay, anybody that, that knows with that tape on Bogey's neck, what does it do? Yeah, because um, Divincenzo's had it a few times on his yeah. shoulder, I believe. Well, I've seen the shoulder before, and I guess yeah. maybe it just it it stabilizes things more. But that's why I'm wondering about his back. Oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. Protects him from the scanners. I love you, Jessica. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Kevin TLDR. I was. That's <laughs> uh, a goaltend. Goaltend. <laughs> Deuce. Added stability from uh, B Shack in the YouTube is what okay. he's alleging the tape is for. Yes. And Scott Stern has <laughs> clarified that his uh, that his proud boy comment was said with love. Yes, I appreciate <laughs> you calling me a proud boy with love. What was the what was the one where I got a haircut and I had a shave? Like it was years ago. And it was when you were back in the the Long Island house and you got it was the first time you were very clean shaven and it was so stark that we called you All Lives Matter Macri. There it is. That's yeah. It. Uh, by the way, speaking of the ridiculous <laughs> boy and Bogdanovich turnovers, we had yeah. one right there. There you go. Yeah. Leads down yeah. to seventeen, folks. There, there is still a world where I can. Uh, I'm going to look at the score after the first quarter is over and be like, "This is too close." Uh huh. Benji, please tell me I didn't just see 48 strip boy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I wish I could, Benji. Yeah. I wish I could. Benji's Benji's tweet about the, or his, I think it was his text to us about the. Are were Bogey and Burke serious with the minutes against the mm-hmm. Nets in the first half? That was. You see, you see what Deuce just did. What yes. do you do? He, he knocked it off the back of a. Oh, oh they're defender. playing around tonight. Yeah, around tonight. I'm getting trivia ready. Okay. <laughs> no, don't do it yet. Do not I'm get trivia ready. Right. Do not say anything about trivia in the first half. All right, DJ. I'm not yeah. gonna get okay. trivia ready, but I'll make sure I stay within the last 20 years. Fair. What What was the game that were Benji was up? Who was Was it us on it? The Memphis game. That was the Memphis game. Yeah. Yeah. I would allege there are worse players on the court than Memphis had that night. I... If see. that went in, I wouldn't have gotten trivia ready. You're right. <laughs> All right. Reset, John. End of one. Okay. Uh, we have a, the Knicks are winning this basketball game. Oh, here we go. Let's look at the replay <laughs> off of yeah. Malachi Flynn's ass uh, for the, <laughs> for the Knicks last points of the half there. Um <clears throat> 19 point lead here. Uh, the Knicks came out uh, in not not messing around mode. Uh, and the Pistons came out with uh, looking like the Pistons, missing their quote unquote best players. Um, and uh, and the results are what the results are. Knicks shooting 66 or excuse me, 63.6 percent from the field. They have hit six of 10 from deep. That certainly helps. Dante DiVincenzo with a actually a kind of a quiet three or four from deep, but that's, that's great to see him 
getting going. I thought I thought he st- the last few games for him have been big because he had been in mm-hmm. a a lowercase slump, lowercase s slump, but he had been in a slump, so he's starting to come out of it. So that's nice. And uh, yeah, did I miss anything? I don't know what there else to to is to say. Yeah, I mean Hartenstein in his seven minutes was phenomenal again. Um, quiet yes. Brunson game. Uh, not like he's. Uh, I thought he was sort of playing within the flow and not uh, forcing things. He, I think he was reading that his teammates, specifically Divincenzo, um, Hartenstein, were sort of getting what they wanted. So I liked his first quarter, Brunson's. Um, that is, even despite only making one shot. And then it just—it's rare that you could play an NBA game where you can confidently say the Knicks have the five the starters, at least the five best players on the floor are Knicks. Um, which. Is saying something considering all the players the Knicks are missing, and obviously the Pistons are missing a lot of players on their end. But this is just not an NBA team that the Knicks are playing, and they're doing what they have to do to sort of, you know, step on the their necks a little bit. So hopefully they can continue that and not let their guard down as they go to the second. I let's let's rank the. I mean, Jaden Ivey is Jay. I mean, who who is zero for five? Mm-hmm. Is he the best player on the Pistons right tonight? I think he has to, has to be, even though he has not been good of late. But I don't know who else has to. Well, I mean, it, so it, let, let me get this straight. I can't start doing trivia, but we're gonna play rank the Pistons. <laughs> That's relevant to the game. It is respecting okay. the opponent, Andrew. It is yes, respecting okay. the opponent. I will go. Monty Williams is my second best Piston on the court tonight. <laughs> is he? Are, no, don't they have? Uh... Is Jared Jack an assistant on this team, or am I making? He that might up? be. That would be that. Then that's your pick. Okay, you got Jared Jack. Oh, my point is, is I up. think I think Evan Fournier is an argument. Not even an argument. He is without argument one of the three best players on the Pistons tonight. Yes. Oh, that was, was good. Was As we watch, down? Precious gonna steal after we return. Oh, great what pass! The, no time. foul. Okay, good. They foul. Oh. So we have, I, maybe it's happened in the last bunch of games. I cannot remember the last time we've had Hartenstein precious minutes together. It feels like it's been a little while. Felix, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Is this replacing Sims minutes potentially, or is Sims going to come in for, or was precious just playing so well that he's like, I'll have him be the backup four. Wait, does that mean bogey's out right now? No, bogey's in the game. So, what's the lineup? Josh Hart, Bogey. Hart just came out. So Hart was know. on the floor there, so it's for he one was. play. Yeah, Divincenzo is back in. So Devo sat for one minute. Okay. <laughs> Listen, he'll... and Deuce hasn't sat yet. He could sleep when he's dead. Yes. <laughs> Co- company motto. Deuce is going to play 40 minutes tonight. Deuce is I, playing 40 minutes today. You put that in. I will blood. say they're on pace to be up by like 100 in three quarters, though. Um, No. Uh, what's the. I can't even remember the freaking guy's name. Uh, Shake yet. There you go, Bogey. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. That. Oh, that I, I do want him to. Do, like, I really still want him to do well, not just because I look utterly ridiculous. With my impassioned pleas to Benji after the trade, oh my god! Um, but I, I, I think he cares. I think he's a guy that gives a shit about winning, and I don't think he's come here and like dogged it in any way. He's just been bad, and yeah. I have to think it's probably bothering him more than it's bothering anybody. But um, no, he's he's holding his neck again, so I don't know what's. Yeah. So it must be like maybe like woke up on the wrong side, you know? Yeah, I literally was. Just, that's how I look, you know, waking up. You kind of well, yeah. get the cobwebs out. Literally. Yeah. I slept on my parents' couch this weekend. So I, I feel That's you, rough. Bogey. That's a rough one. Yeah. 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 Not what you want. No. Troy Brown Jr. Is always will be on a team for another a number of years. Ooh. That was very pretty from Dante. He was having yes. himself a night. That's why he's in. Because he's dominating. Hmm. Mm, I don't love that. All right. Oh, I love okay. that. Listen. 
if, I, if this is what gets him going, yes. This is Deuce's. <clears throat> this is Deuce's shooting uptick showing dividends because now you've got three shooter, four shooters on the floor with Hartenstein at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, three shooters on the floor with uh, Precious at the Look moment. Look at this motherfucker! Mm. He doesn't stop. Look at him run again. Oh, he blew a tire. Come Please. on, finish this. Ah, okay, that was a nice pass. Possession. Yes, possession to possession, folks. Oh, nice cut. Oh, oh bogey. <laughs> what did I say? Over his head, out of bounds. Oh, my gosh, bogey. I, I mean, has a nice move one possession to go. The next possession, literally, over his head, out of bounds. <laughs> So that steal right there, that McBride, where he kind of sneaks in, where he's not slapping down, where he sort of like times the dribble. That's a Drew Holiday move right there, mm -hmm. where you're you're getting the ball, you're ripping it out without any sort of demonstrative act, and you're not going to get called <clears throat> for a foul on that. It's a really the vet move right there for him. You know he studies tape of these guys. Has to um, the holidays of the world. Oh, he is, he's not hitting the rim. No. Listen, he, I, he, I think he knows he's, this might be <laughs> a, his best chance at 40 he's ever going to get in his career. What was that? That was a call. I didn't see anything there. Uh, you think De that's always what Deuce had his mind uh, had on his mind in that play with the just the, yeah. just enough dribble penetration or what? Yeah, because they're in drop. So at that point, you know, he's not – He's not getting to the rim, and yeah, it's easy. It's a, you know, that's a sort of pass that it's underrated. But you just a it keeps the ball moving, and and b if you get a guy like Fournier who's got his hands down, you can get a, a easy look or just drive that closeout. Sure. It just a, it's a simple play, but it's he's doing that more and more, McBride, where he just makes <clears throat> he's making better reads as a pick and roll operator, and it's just reps, you know. It's he's. I think you said it, John, on the the show with um, Jeremy, where you know he can. I th I think he's getting better as a quote unquote point guard or lead guard or whatever it is, and he's just I sort of building on it. Does doesn't need to be earth shattering stuff. No, uh, from him. <laughs> that was, see, that's why I like it. That's an old man game thing right there. That's <laughs> so, great. Did anybody else's screen? Buffer while he took that, or was that just how slow he was moving? Shut up. That's so bad. That's you're terrible. Get your trivia ready. No one wants to hear your take. That's right, right of getting that trivia ready. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. That was a nice pass. That was. It's just really impressive if the Knicks have come out with this sort of aggression yeah. and effort. I mean, I, I know I shouldn't be impressed and, or I should expect it, but so many teams would just like let their guard down and just sort of go through the motions against this ah. opponent. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's like, you know, it's his game 71, like we yeah. said, um, against this team with this lineup and timeout. Buddy Behan. <laughs> and he calls a timeout. Tim of course he calls a timeout. Leads down to 20. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's down screaming. Right. Who's he screaming at? <laughs> he's screaming at someone. That's Buddy Beheim, yes. I Buddy, I think he scored like 15 the other night. Oh, I 15 or 17, that. something. Yeah. Um. Okay, uh, we'll do a little, little reset. Uh, so uh, the lead, yes, indeed, is down to 20. Um, Dante DiVincenzo thus far has been not the star. He's been one of a few stars, 49-29. Uh, he's certainly carried the scoring load with 18 points on 7 of 8 shooting. Um, but we have McBride obviously making his usual impact. Uh, Hartenstein we kind of talked about already. He's on – I don't know, I don't know if he's, he's going to get the minutes, but – Semi triple double watch six mm -hmm. points four assists four rebounds, and uh, and we see Bogey making some uh, some baskets early, which is nice too. But again, he's only played he's only played seven guys so far, um, which we'll see. Is are we getting an eighth guy in this half? I would question. say probably not. Right? No. I don't think so. Yeah. Which, like, look, if you play your guys and you build up a big enough lead and you get to, 
the fourth quarter and nobody has played more than, you know, it, it's if it's 10 minutes into the, or 10 minutes left in the game and you got a big enough lead and nobody's played more than 32 minutes, then it's worth it. But look, get, get the win, right? Get the win. Um, and it is, you know, notable to me that you watch Deuce play tonight and he's going, you know, Ivy high draft pick. Sasser was a first round draft pick and he's, Listen, I'm not I'm not saying this as like Deuce is better than Ivy right now, or as a player, he might be actually right now better. But it's just nice to see him as a second round pick who's been growing into this role. He's looking like the best guard of those three right now. Yeah. In this game, at least. And I know it's like infrastructure is tough and like this piston system is the situation is really bad, but yeah, his, I mean, uh, you know, it's it's just it's notable to me that he's he looks better than those those two guys that were you know first round draft picks. I think it speaks to when you're a bad team and you when you when you're a bad team and you draft a guy who you know is going to take it's going to take some work because mm-hmm. most guys it takes work like it's not it's it's not often like you could count the amount of, the amount of guards drafted onto a team in the last probably 10 years, I don't know, one hand, two hands where they come in and like right away first year, it's like, okay, this guy is not only good, but is like helping us win games. Like I'm yeah. like Donovan Mitchell comes right to mind. Like he helped mm-hmm. change their franchise as a rookie, perfect infrastructure for him. He walked into a ready-made like 50 win team, but he still had a lot to do with it, but that's so rare. It's so rare. It was a weird camera angle. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I, I was, I was couldn't figure out if you were watching a live game there. For yeah. A uh, so Brunson misses a little floater. I think it'll, what does Brunson have five points so far? He has. Yes, five points so far. Oh, nice block by Wiseman to come in mm-hmm. the last minute there. Another example of, you know, Hart has nothing happening, right? And Hartenstein calls for the ball, and it's immediate, like, all right, I'm cutting off this because I have a guy that's going to find me, and they get a shot at the rim. Uh, ben, well, I see your question in the chat. I'll, next time out, we'll, we'll talk about it. Although I have to say, admittedly, I know the headline of the story. I don't know the I, – I have not read anything more than the, the headline. Mm, not a great kick ball. Yeah, still not a great idea. Not a great pass. I mean, there was a, there wasn't much of a window there. Yeah. <laughs> he's only happy when he's miserable. Beautiful. There we go. Okay. And got a switch, go. got a guard on him. Went to work. I mean, it feels like when he gets any kind of room to rise and fire with any sort of traditional form, they're yeah. going down lately from and the that range. from that spot. Yeah. Yeah. There exactly. Yeah. Oof. My lord. And now he's gonna jog back, Ivy. This is the problem with him, man. Mm. He's gonna have a wide open shot. Oh, okay. He was about to hit one eventually, mm-hmm. but no, you're right, Benji you, or uh, DJ. You don't look. It's, I I can't even imagine being a Pistons fan and seeing that. That would that would bother me. Mm-hmm. Oh, cut. what a what a oh, cut! What a pass! Jeez. Yep, there's your five assists now. John. Get the get get the triple double, man. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Wait, what just? Oh, <laughs> why didn't you shoot it? <laughs> 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 
like are they not? Just are, they not are they now not going to call that in the act of shooting? I guess I don't think he actually made a shot at the rim. Ah, <laughs> he knows it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was, that was yeah. all. That was actually worth yeah. it. That Whoa, good. Juice McBride sitting down. First time in this game. Wow. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. So we played the first. 19 minutes? Just about, yeah. Oh, be careful. Please land. Okay, he landed okay. <laughs> That's my only focus there. And he's the rebound. Oh, great Good rebound. Einstein. <laughs> Knock it down. Oh wow. I, Benji, I echo your, your tweet. He might break 48's record with 48 in the building. I, it, that, it's just a, it, that's a question of if he, as long as he doesn't get hurt, that's you could write that. No, one he was saying he's gonna hit 14 threes, he's like 14 oh, okay. more threes tonight, is what. Oh, okay, saying. yeah. <laughs> ah. I, I, that's a, I guess that's a good decision to, to help there. I mean, but, but Sasser could hit that shot as whatever. Come on. It's okay. It's a good shot there. Great shot. Ooh, go sit down. <laughs> he can think whatever he wants. Oh, Dante. Ah, okay. Ooh. Josh Hart. Ooh. Follow your shot. Ah. Uh, well, so Bogey cooling down a little bit after a, a hot start has certainly had some good looks. Um, yeah. I don't know what else. One of four from three, three of six from the field. Deuce, Deuce right back in. Right back in. <laughs> Incredible. That was a literal water break. I mean, I, 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 it's not like Tibbs is worried about overextending the, the kid. That's that's not a thing. Cooling down. Benji's killing me in the chat. <laughs> I might as well be his publicist at this point. Un, unpaid <laughs> internship. It's whoa! Sense. All right. Whoa. Wow! Whoa, whoa, I, this is whoa. wild. This is, I'm, this is new. I'm at a loss. I'm beyond at a loss. So Sims, for anybody who's just listening, maybe... Uh, has the fro is gone? He has he has braids, and he looks like he's six seven. Yeah, he legit. <laughs> he shrunk. Looks oh, like yeah. he's their 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 backup small forward now. <laughs> I like for a half a second. I was like, is that Jacob Toppin? Knock that down, Deuce. Oh Ooh. wow, no, sit Wide longer. Left. Not not quite. He tried to get a Brunson there. He got one. Did he? There yeah. you go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> James Wiseman, you have been Brunson. Not his first time this year, I don't think. Oh, bump Euro. No. It's okay. Not great. It was a little bit too far to... to, to yeah, it there. was. He was a few feet too far. Mm. I'm shocked yeah. they're not all going in. The shooting has dried up a little bit here. A little but bit, yeah. The Pistons can't score, so we're not we're not worried. Okay. Nah. Um, I mean, look, you, you'd still like to go into the second half with the 20-plus 20, 20 point lead. All mm -hmm. things considered, this... I, I'd, I'd like to be up more, but, you know, that's me saying that, and I'm always... I'm always a little crazy with this stuff. Uh, Katz has a Fred Katz has a nice observation. Hardenstein already played 16 minutes tonight. Um, says he can't remember the last time he played that many minutes in a first half, and that it bodes well for his health. Uh, it does. Um, mm -hmm. I I was like I'm thinking back to the Warriors game, right, where I think he played 
Didn't he play like eight minutes in the first half against the Warriors? So it's the you're thinking of the Kings game. He was played the 10, Kings game. Okay, I knew minutes. it was one of those games. Yeah, he played ten minutes, and Precious had this long stint where he he came in at the five minute mark when he normally does in the first. And normally, as we saw tonight, Tibbs brings iHeart back to begin the second quarter or the beginning, and then takes him out at the end. Instead, he just left Precious in for the first seven minutes. And it was like a full 12 minutes off for Hartenstein, where he just played like the first seven and the last three. And then he matched the bonus for the third and fourth quarter. So hmm. that's that's what ended up happening. Um, but so to the, your point, 16 first half yeah. minutes is the first in a long time for Hartenstein. I mean, look, the shooting is down, down. <laughs> big air quotes energy there to 50% from the field, 41% from deep. Uh, and Jalen Brunson has uh, two points and seven, or excuse me, two field goals, seven points, and they're they're up by twenty. So I guess shouldn't probably shouldn't complain. Um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna refill my water. You got it. Out of town scoreboard, DJ. So yeah, the Celtics are up sixty eight to forty two on the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, the Wizards looking for a third straight win are up 23 to 10 on the Chicago Bulls. Uh, the Rockets looking for a 10th straight or a ninth straight win, and then their 12th in their last 13th are up 20 to 19 on Portland. Uh, and the one game people care about, as far as we're concerned, uh, Cleveland is being Chicago, uh, excuse me, Charlotte 59 45. Uh, our next opponent, Toronto, who has lost 10 straight games. Is losing the Brooklyn, so. So I know, our, I saw a tweet that RJ and uh, IQ are back with the team, but they're not playing tonight. I, I would be curious if they play um, on, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Against their us. designation is now conditioning, preparing yeah. to play versus personal reasons. So, yeah. Um, I'm sure so, it's nice to for them to be back in the building and just yeah, having some normalcy. And on the for what Ben Kim Gervy brought up before on the Jonte Porter betting scandal, I mean, I know it's basically they're looking at prop bets, um, which like my 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 simple my very basic simple reaction is like I'm not surprised. Like this, you're you're this is what's going to happen. The more you introduce gambling into sports and legalize it and um, promote it and like like what. Like when you're going to see stuff like this, mm -hmm. I'm not, we should all be prepared for more of it. And it's just a matter of like, how hard are they going to be looking for it? Cause if they look hard enough, I'm sure they're going to find stuff. Yeah. And assuming they, they come out and they find that there was, he was, um, <clears throat> what he did was it falls under the guise of like, you know, illegality, they're going to have to come down. He's, they're going to make an example of him because I think their only recourse would be to make the punishment so severe that players wouldn't, wouldn't do it. Now, I don't know, obviously if that's players association, the whole thing, there's, there's that aspect to things and they, they can't just punish him yeah. without any recourse. But I think that's their only way to like make this something players are going to shy away from because the incentives there are there for them to do it. Mm. All right, sixteen point game. Yeah, with eight oh Pistons run here. Yeah. Brunson, that's three straight misses on three straight possessions for Jalen Brunson. Um, he's not. I mean, these shots are not easy shots. Jeez. But Jaden Ivy, listen, be thankful. I'm thankful. I just that's a that's a bad shot when your team's like actually got some momentum. Mm. One, Jesus, someone. It feels like forever since someone's hit a shot. And you're you're gonna get a, a nice Hartenstein plus minus uh, boast by halftime. I have a funny feeling. Hmm. I think Precious is set to come. Oh in my God, Josh! Goodness, Ivy. That's unfortunate. Swing. Come hmm. on. That there you go. Be, that was quite a swing because that would have brought it if Ivy could convert a fast break um that would have brought it down to what 13 no 14 14 and now it's back to 19 yep ah. 
Whoa. Jesus Christ. I mean, thank goodness we're playing this freaking Pistons team. Amen. Come on. Go in with a 20-point lead. That would be nice. Ah, in and out. All nice. right, go up 19. Ah, ah, that's a little over aggressive there by Deuce. I thought Sasser sold it also. Is Deuce really going to play 23 minutes in this half? He sure is. It's freaking long. Oh, look at that. Per courtesy of Bobby Marks. Um, Jalen Brunson has reached the 65 game criteria. So eligible for all NBA. Um, and obviously Bobby Marks that he is uh, Brunson is not eligible to uh, sign for is not eligible for the Supermax because he was not drafted by the Knicks and he did not get traded here uh, in his during his rookie contract. 10 point lead for Cleveland, by the way. All right. All right. Charlotte's cutting into that a little bit. They're hanging out, hanging around. All right. 17 point lead. Oh. Ah. Uh. Got a good shot or decent shot. All right. Um, so halftime, uh, the Knicks have a 17 point lead on the Pistons or what's left of the Pistons. Um, he went, he was a little colder down the stretch, uh, but DiVincenzo, even, even though we went cold ish second half of the second quarter finishes the first half with 21 points on eight of 11 overall, five of eight from deep. Um, Jalen Brunson, despite a three for 11 shooting performance is the only other Nick in double figures with 10. Um, actually you look at some of the shooting numbers, Brunson, three for 11, McBride, three of nine. Josh Hart, three of seven, um, you know, bogey three of six, Hardenstein, three of six. It's really just even Chenzo that's hitting shots. Um, mm -hmm. and, and other guys are between mediocre and, and bad. Um, they are passing well, 17 assists on 23 made field goals, not quite dominating on the glass, but it winning the, the board edge 30 to 24 and, uh, mm -hmm. mostly, you know, benefiting from a Pistons team that is making mistakes and, um, not hitting shots. And on that note, I'm going to go to a uh, halftime zoom. I'll see you guys in a bit. See you in a bit. See you later, John. I'm assuming, DJ, that we're going to go watch the uh, Cavaliers game, if you'd like to. Let's do it. Uh, get to see your your local Hornets. For those watching along. Oh, it's eight-point game. Third All quarter. Right. Let's go, Charlotte. Oh, in and out. So what's your best guess as to why? I mean, aside from the obvious that Mitchell has just been... Like this is this is the biggest indication of how important Mitchell is to that team, right? Yeah, um, I said it with John earlier. I just it feels like either Garland isn't right. You know, he had the jaw injury and lost a ton of weight apparently. Mm. So it is possible that maybe he is not where he needs to be conditioning wise and his physicality. But I feel like he's he's been disappointing since Mitchell went out in terms of you know kind of up in his game a little bit well this is basically i mean give or take a player here or two but like because mobley's out too right or is mobley playing i think mobley is out he i believe he is out okay so for the most part this is the team that was a nine seed or was an eight seed a couple years ago or seven seed, whatever the number they finished with right you know so Mitchell takes you from like a seven, eight, nine seed to a three, two seed, which shows impact. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> Benji. <laughs> Since when is Poku playing for Charlotte as he 
allows Jared Allen to just yep. get to the rim. Pull it. Oh, Poku had it. While we're watching the Cavs, does anybody have questions about? There you go. Grant Williams, the three. Charlotte down by seven. Anybody have questions for for DJ? Okay, an X's and O's expert. Give us give us a question in either chat. I've got YouTube up here too. Apparently, Mobley is playing. By the way. Okay. Yeah, he's just not in the game at the moment. Got it. That's not a good look. Hey, all right, Coro. Okay. I don't think I've seen him take a step back above the break three before I make it. A Coro? Yeah. Hey, I just got a text from my wife saying there's an emergency spider situation upstairs. Do you I mind if I... That is a spider. I, you don't have to tell me twice about spiders. Listen, right I'll be right it. back. I I'll hang analyst. out. I'll All hang right. out with everybody. All right. So, again, we're at halftime. The Knicks lead 59 to 42. Uh, DJ left his. I want to see. Wonder if we could hear the spider situation. No, nah, I'm gonna turn his mic off just in case. Like the house suddenly catches on fire, you don't want to hear it. I say that because if a, if a spider suddenly showed up in this studio that I'm in, you would just suddenly see flames show up because that's the way I would get rid of a spider is light my house on fire. Um, don't tell my landlord that. Um, Dirty Dancer, what are you mainly looking f looking on floor for to read actions? Yep, that is a DJ question. Um, from Nemo, I'm wondering why Hardstein hasn't been tested as a point forward for our second unit. He seems to have the craft to run a decent offense for us. Benji, you might know better than this from rewatching and going through the film. I feel like that's like part of his role with the second unit. That's why like, it's tough because he's got a minutes restriction. Um, but like that is part of what he's been doing. It's honestly, I mean, DJ, you remember this. It's what we were saying when they initially started to be shorthanded that the Knicks should be doing is have him run the second unit. The tough part is he can't play more than like seven, eight minutes in a row. So like your second unit is also being run by your backup center. Then he's not playing with your starting unit at the end of the second quarter, which is why the, the Pistons had the chance to go on an eight or run without a pretty effective center on the floor at the end of the second quarter. So it's tough with the minutes restriction with Mitchell Robinson back. It will be much easier, which is why I'm excited to see what that happens. Um, so other questions for DJ. Let's see how well I can answer them. Um, DJ, I've been watching a lot of college basketball recently. First, this is from JK. I should say the tough part about watching college basketball for me is just the dip in quality and it's very much watching minor league basketball. It's been fun. The tournament, it's the dip in quality is noticeable. Um, he also says, I was wondering why a lot of teams have their weak side corner shooter lift so high, like well above where NBA teams would lift to. DJ will answer that question when he's done killing the spider. Oh, man. Dirty dancer. I agree. Playoff push notes. So the Cleveland broadcast has a graphic that Denver is now the one seed, that Phoenix is now the sixth seed, that the Sixers are now the eighth seed. Wonder how often that stays. Any me questions? You got like a, a, a movie or, or baseball questions? Never mind. DJ's back. Don't ask me about baseball. Busy will be mad later. You okay? Is it dead? No. I got up there. Not what they said it was. So you you hold on, hold on. You started underwater. We need we need a spider update. Yeah. yeah. Did you go full uh, Doctor Octopus? Like, did you did you kill it? No, I couldn't find it. I, by the by the time I got there, it was not where they said it was. Mm. And then and so now they're upstairs looking with flashlights trying to find it. I'm gonna hear probably a scream in a minute when they do. But I don't know. Um. My daughter and my wife are both unwilling um, to take them out themselves. So we'll see. <laughs> I 
All right, <laughs> start anyway. from Dirty Dancer at 8.39. I believe it's a top comment on the chat. These are questions for you. So okay. where, where are you mainly looking on floor to read actions? Hold on. Just going to it right now. So my thing keeps buffering. Uh, what's yeah, the I, just, I just read it. Where are you mainly looking on the floor to read actions? Like when you're watching a game live. So... If I'm watching it, so it's it's funny that like when I watch it live, I'm, it's very hard for me personally to see individual players and actions. Like I'll notice them if I if it if it stands out, but typically that'll usually happen on the second watch where I can sort of like run through a play. All right, a guy got got open on a on a corner shot. What 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 preceded that action? How did they get that? open look and then I'll literally go through each play, slow it down, see what the A the coverage is. Is if it's a pick and roll, like what coverage were they in? What was the pick what was the the guard seeing on that? Was were if they were in a hedge, did the big slip? Did this, you know, where was the weak side uh defender? So sort of like that stuff happens to me when I'm watching it the second time. When I'm watching the first time, I'll notice things as it's happening, like the that one um Spain pick and roll the Knicks ran where deuce got the dunk it was incredible because i think the pistons allowed the roll man and the the pick and roll handler to get open on that play and it was just like such a bad defensive play that it, it stood out but generally speaking i'm trying to just enjoy the game the first time watching it and it's a second time where i can actually see things and isolate players and um do it that way to me that's a more efficient way of doing things um because i can sort of you know pause when i need to and rewind and all that next question comes from jk uh dj i've been watching a ton of college basketball recently and wondering why a lot of teams have their weak side corner shooter lift so high like well above where nba teams would lift to so to me with that and I don't want you to be completely honest. I don't watch a ton of college basketball, but I know if you're lifting to where like you are going to be like in the slot or the wing, you're making that pass much easier for the guard versus in the NBA. If you're going to just stick someone in the weak side corner to get that pass over the top, it's a really hard pass to make. And we see it with the Knicks where, you know, I think Jalen Brunson has gotten much better as a passer out of, um, pick and rolls with Hartenstein, especially the pocket pass, but he's still not good getting into the weak side in the air on a line for an open shot. It's just a very hard pass to make. There's probably seven or eight guards forwards in the league right now that could do it consistently. I mean, it's a pass Luca makes all the time, but he's six seven, so he can see over the defense and make that that pass pretty easily when they pull in that um, that low man from the weak side um, corner. So to me, it's a really hard pass to make. So if you're going to try to make that pass a little bit easier, if you're running a high pick and roll, the guards penetrating, you lift that swing pass to the slot on the opposite slot is a much easier pass uh, to make versus getting it all the way to the corner, which is very difficult. It's a, it's a hard, it's a, just a hard pass to make. So I think it's just limiting some of the difficulty on the passes that college guards are having to make. Next one from uh <laughs> so two one from ryan wong in the youtube uh what is the optimal zone strategy for catching a spider do you blitz or try a heavier contain um so you have to contain first i and i've caught a lot of spiders in my in my days uh, I, as i said my wife mm -hmm. is she has a phobia so it is dad duty yeah yep and you have well, to husband contain duty, it sounds like too husband okay. duty yes and dad duty my daughter is um she that that gene has been passed down to her have to contain and then when you have containment then you can blitz but if you go in there blitzing and that spider sense because they have a sense man I, I i've caught enough of them to where if you go in their guns blazing they're gonna they're gonna get the hell out of there and then you're in trouble and then you don't find it and then it's a then you have a bigger problem because the worst case scenario is what's happening tonight is the spider is not found and even though there's probably a dozen spiders up in that area behind walls, the fact that one is now known to be alive and in their room is creating some panic. So, but you have to contain and then you can, then you can go and attack, but containment is key. 
my strategy, probably similar to your wife's, is mm. to light the house on fire. Um, <laughs> from Phil, Philip Spatola, what do you think the best defensive defensive unit when healthy is? So best five defensive players on the floor. Um, for the Knicks, yes. um, so until we see him back healthy, I think you have to still give iHeart the nod there. Um, I, I think Mitch at his best is the better defender. So I'm going to give him the edge there, but I think iHeart deserves the nod right now, at least. You have to have OG obviously in there. You have to have Hart in there. I think those are your three best defenders. And then McBride, if because we're, we're we're just talking defense, mm -hmm. and so McBride and I would say Divincenzo, um, in the backcourt. I think Divincenzo's ability to play the worst offensive player and just to wreak havoc as a free safety is huge. And OG and Hard guarding your wings, and I Hard in the back line, it's pretty dominant. I don't can know how I, that. Yeah, can I, can I offer a wrinkle? If this is yeah. solely the best defensive unit, right? We're okay. not factoring in like you also need to consider offense. Yeah. What if instead of DiVincenzo, it's Precious? Yeah. If yeah. it's just defense. If it's just defense, you're right. You yeah. probably would go Precious as your four. Every game's going to look yeah. like that game on Sunday night against the Sixers you're where right. it's first to 75. Yeah. But... I'm I'm like, it's it's like a eerie, like a, like a fascination with like seeing that one time. But yeah, I think that. That's your probably that's your best defensive look. And Precious. to be clear, or, I never want to see that lineup in my yeah. life. But if we're just saying defense, <laughs> yeah, that's probably, probably just, the answer. That's you know? probably the answer. You're right. Yeah. Um. Next is okay. There's a there's questions. None. Nick's coming back. Thank you, Benji. Um. Wow, right on time, Benji. There's a there's an Otani question. Uh, is Otani a degenerate gambler, and why didn't Pete Rose blame his interpreter? <laughs> that's a great. Who, that's a great who, joke. Who posted that? <laughs> that's that's from Philip Spatola again. That's, that's great. And then Armand is Otani a degenerate gambler? Look, I have no idea. I don't think we're gonna find out. I think every player might have a five dollar prize picks bet in their pocket like <laughs> right. the more we're allowing gambling into the sport the more we're gonna have cases like this so mm -hmm. it's not as much of a stigma as it used to be, to be while also recognizing there needs to be better regulation on it yeah so Jalen brunson opens the second half with a, a jump shot going in which is good to see yes Give me that. Give me that. Kick. Yeah. Ah, Nick Ball. Okay, good. So it's a quiet cr uh, crowd right now for obvious reasons. You know, the game's pretty much not. I mean, it's it's a blowout-ish, but it's great for these games because you can hear Tibbs uh, yes. extremely clear. This is a classic. <laughs> like, if you just want to listen to uh, his. Uh, there's a recent game. I think it was the end of Golden State where the that, that crowd was really quiet. Good shot yeah. by Jalen. Two buckets to start the their third quarter mm. where I could hear Tibbs yelling every defensive yeah. action. Yep. You know, and it was pretty cool. Marcus Sasser, man. I've been impressed with him every time I've watched him this year. Yeah, I agree. Granted, the times I've watched him are the three times the, the, when he's played the Knicks this year. So. Oh, oh. Jalen and one. Brunson and one. I'm going to have to look at that one. Sure. For flagrant. Absolutely. Uh, flagrant and suspension. <laughs> uh, couldn't really tell. Hold on. That might be on Brunson, to be honest, with the, with the jump hmm. forward. I think it's your natural motion, but to today's league, they are looking at it. Okay. For a flagrant. They're looking at yeah, it, for, right? a flag, yeah. for a flag. Okay. Uh, right, what's the name back? of that fucking ref that called the whatever the Fakakta nonsense was? The ref that called the, the uh, foul on Brunson against Tatum in the opener, and then the oh, foul Goble. in the Houston oh, game. Oh, Goble. Goble. Jason, Jason Goble. Goble. Yeah. yeah. Let's 
I honestly don't know what the line of demarcation to make it a flagrant is if it's versus no, just a common foul. Nobody knows. Like that we've one looked to, like sorry, go ahead. No, sorry, I was what? gonna say we've gotten to the point with some of this stuff. It's like what's a catch in the NFL? Yeah, right. You're not wrong. Cleveland back up 18, by the way. Yeah, Ben King Gervy, you know it when you see it, I guess. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> one of my one of my favorite Supreme Court cases. Yeah. <laughs> Expand on that. What are your five favorite Supreme Court cases? <laughs> my God. Your top. Five, that's your. That's your trivia. Name. If I if I could name five Supreme Court <laughs> cases at this point. Yeah. Um. All old. Like. They're but they're not even. Those aren't even like Supreme Court cases. There's like the fun. The nice. The fun thing about. I can't believe I'm about to say the fun thing about law school. You. The interesting thing occasionally about law school is you learn about like old English cases about like mm-hmm. somebody who had an argument with somebody else over their cow and <laughs> you know it, it 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 establishes some rule of law that has that still holds true to this day yeah. it's uh you know i remember one where like something fell out of like a barnyard window and it again it established some precedent that we still rely on it's shit like that that you learn about hmm. do you have a favorite courtroom drama movie a few good men oh few, i mean that's that- ar- arguably my favorite movie so um, Benji had a question earlier from six minutes ago. Uh, seen anything noteworthy worthy from Detroit's coverage on Brunson more broadly? Anything standing out with some recent inefficient games for his standards? Uh, but he then got mad at me for ignoring it. So let's ignore it. <laughs> no, I, I would like to no, hear DJ's no flagrant, answer. by the way. No flagrant, by the way. DJ, if you want to answer, go ahead. Yeah, yeah I mean, well, the Nets game, it was they were just switching everything with Claxton and Brunson was sort of, I thought playing into the Nets hands by trying to target him one-on-one as if it's a mismatch when it just isn't. And I've men- made mention that Brunson has just been really inefficient as an isolation score in general today or tonight. It feels at least to me that these are just a lot of shots that he typically is going to make and that he just, he's missing. Yeah. Um, it's been mostly dropped with the uh, Wiseman, which is his. That's the coverage they play with him. Um, you know, look, they're putting size on him, and size has been bothering him uh, a little bit this year at times. So when he's gotten the switch against Sasser Ivy, I feel like even though he's not made a lot of the his field goal attempts against them, he's shot attempts have been good. So I'm less concerned today than I was against the net, the Nets game, which I thought was more bad bad process for him. And you, what would you have rather he done instead in the Nets game? Is more like just like passing it out? Yeah, I just, you got to get just get the ball moving. Now, part of the issue is like you're not Hartenstein is not creating a great you're not gaining a mismatch with Hartenstein either. So, um, it does create a conundrum where you know if you're switching your point guard onto a big, you want to take advantage of that, but that's just not Hartenstein's game to do that. So the only other option is to get the ball to the second side and just try to play off your, you know, DiVincenzo primarily yeah. and see if he can get um, some action going on that way. I mean, this whole conversation is, and and you've been trumpeting this for, you know, two months. It's why they need Julius back. Yeah. If they're going to, if they're going to do anything in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Anything. If their ceiling is going to be reached. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I do. I would say, look, Brunson's had to take on a lot last year and obviously before the Julius injury this year. But I have to think maybe it will. He's he's going to be I don't know what the word is, but like what if if I have feel like I have to say at this point, but hopefully when Julius comes back, that's got to be such a boon to to Brunson at that point. Right. Yeah, I think so. Man, that's a rough ah. one for Wiseman. <laughs> You could describe his career that way. Yeah. Busy asks if you had one stat, she's busy, to describe the love you have for your wife and kids, what would it be? One he asked, nice even, haircut. Stat. I don't even know how to answer that. One stat to describe I, like points, rebounds, assists. Like, what are we doing here? I don't know. You know, um, DP, I mean, dirty dancer says. I'm going to think about this one for a hot second. Get, make uh-huh. that. Ah, a little short. Uh, I'm going to say steals because my wife is a steal. 
No, oh, it's see, that's why you know what? That's why you're such a sweet guy. Yeah. I can't I I couldn't have pulled that one out. There you it's, go. I was trying to I was going through literally work. going through the scat yeah. the being like, I'm thinking the about it much more here? deeply here. Yeah. Um John's actually calculating her EPM at the moment. <laughs> that's funny. Um I think uh for my wife, it's definitely season long on off is off the charts. Ah, because uh, like, well done. You know, anyone who's married knows, like, you're 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 not going to be thrilled with your significant other every second of every minute of every day, but it's over the long haul. Mm. Um, and could and and could you survive without this person? And uh, the on off tells you tells you that story. As far as my kids, man, I'd, I'd like to send them to the end of the bench and just like. <laughs> You know, okay, it's mop up time. You can come in now. But T Vincenzo. Great. Awesome. So you know who kids, my kids your are? My kids, kids are Charlie Brown Jr. and No, they're they're like Obi. It's like, oh, they'll do a cute thing. And it's like, hey, look at that dunk. Once you start, you know, pecking holes in the foundation, it's it's it, it's over. No, oh, yes. Yes. even Chenzo. Seven. Oh. We got seven. Is that seven? My God. Ivy hits. Feed so him. Wanna, Feed wanna, him. What's that? I want DiVincenzo again. I want him so to we break gotta, the record with 40A in the building. We have to address something here Hold live on. on the... How do you leave him open? Bang! <laughs> <laughs> so how many is that? Oh, he's eight. got eight threes tonight. Oh, Detroit. Never change. Okay. Um. So I was planning on bringing this up uh at a later point but alex alex is in the chat so i've referenced this before i'll reference it for everybody now uh before to be very clear before all the injuries mm -hmm. alex made a bet with me where he said he, he thinks steven chenzo is going to break the fournier's record and i i said no i didn't think it was going to happen so we better we better beer on it and i thought i was gonna have a little bit more time to set this up but I think that we should do something for, with with KFS where like I will. I can you drizzly a six pack to somebody's house? Drizzly. I don't know. Do you know what drizzly is? I don't actually. So no. drizzly is an alcoholic beverage delivery service. Um, now I'm. I think they may just deliver wine, but I. Uh, oh look, Alex is saying he'll be in New York in April. I was Alex. I was gonna think say we could do like a video thing where I like send send a beer or few beers to your house and you could we could toast uh you know live after DiVincenzo breaks the record but if you're gonna be in new york then i'll just buy you a beer in person there we go yeah dirty dancers saying down here in arizona we have lovely drive through liquor stores i need me <laughs> one of those all right dirty dancer yeah. you just made it official kfs Air kfs phoenix opening this summer yeah <laughs> yeah drive through liquor store how does that work? Like the old the old bank uh, drive throughs where they put do they put like a bottle of Jack in a tube and it shoots underground and then it comes up? And that's... No. Um, Charlotte has cut it to twelve. I mean, listen. I mean, that's that's progress. No, it's back to fifteen. The minivan. Every time I look up, the minivan's doing something good. I mean, this Hornets team has NBA players. Like, they have a kind of a starting lineup. The point guard they got from the Thunder has been playing well. Maybe the Grant Williams thing has kind of subsided. Trey Mann's getting a chance to play. He's looking okay on some nights. I don't know. I have a feeling this is going to be back-to-back -back wins for Cleveland. Yeah, I think so, too. The Haw Hawks are within three? The Hawks no. are what? Sorry. I, the app just updated. It's 11 with the Boston game. Yeah, I saw Boston was blowing them out, but even 11 is closer yeah. than what I had seen. Um, important game tonight, if we're looking league-wide for a second, um, the Rockets, I believe Jabari Smith Jr. is serving a suspension tonight, and I saw they were losing to the Blazers before. Yeah. They, they need to bank. I mean – Obviously, they keep winning, they, but they need to continue banking wins if they're really going to try to pull off what would be 
one of the wildest NBA stories in years. Really is. Um, all after uh, Shingun went down, which mostly after Shingun went down, the, the streak most. started with Shingun, but yeah, yeah, most of it has. And then, but Jalen Green's sort of explosion has been yeah after he went out. What do you make of the D- Jalen Green explosion, DJ? And I don't know. Down. I've always been like a, a fan of his um, in terms of the scoring stuff. I don't, I don't know about you know the other aspects of his game like defense and and all that but it it feels like one of those players that was in a really bad situation early in his career teammates wise coaching wise and then finally has some semblance of structure and might be turning around but it also is just a it's just like a few weeks now that he's been playing great so i think you just have to i think patience on both sides of the coin is probably the best plan here oh I, boy hopefully he's okay it looks fine. right um i have a quick follow-up i think it's a quick follow-up but like it d- does doesn't jalen green strike you as one of these all or nothing type players and i'll explain what i mean by that where it's like he's got to be your guy basically mm-hmm. or if he's not your guy it's going to be tough for that dude to like find a role as a role player ish guy in the league you know, because of yeah. how he kind of plays. It's interesting. Yeah, it's and it's funny with him and um Shangu, and it felt like they ran so many pick and rolls, the two of them, but it just always felt like Green was either snaking when he didn't have to and just mm-hmm. being overly patient or trying to feed his big where now it just he's mm-hmm. just attacking downhill and he's really showing his um that ability, which is pretty elite in terms of getting to the basket. But that to me is like to your point showing that maybe he just need you give him the ball and he can just let him go and he's performing at this level but then you know what do you do with like how you're constructing a team around him that makes it potentially more complicated when your you know center is as good as shangun is yeah no for for sure and like what is uh like what is green ceiling as a passer because it feels like with like Tatum and I guess to a lesser extent, Anthony Edwards, because Edwards is younger. It's like, yeah, you have, that's, it's like, that's what's keeping maybe those guys from, and again, Edwards is young, so it's not fair mm-hmm. to say this about him, but like, will the, will those guys be able to jump into that top five player, you know, echelon where it's like, you feel eminently comfortable with the ball in their hands, just like all the time, you know, regardless of what the assist numbers may be. Yeah. Which yeah. to be clear is like, not a question you have to ask about Jokic and, you know, LeBron right. and the guys that usually win the titles. Come on. Nine. Nine. Holy sh- sugar. Could you imagine if he fucking got it tonight? I don't know if he'll, he needs like 20 to get it tonight. So. <laughs> oh, is, I thought you were saying he needs. No, no, no. He needed 14 more. More. Oh, yeah. okay. So yeah. he's not going to get it tonight. That's fine. Uh, what's the Nick record for most threes in a game? I'm quite literally just pulled up. Because we he, we looked this up when Brunson got eight, so now I'm gonna look up again. Is it ten? Uh oh, oh ten to pass Evan. Okay, we'll get that next week, if not sooner. He might get that this week. You were misinforming the public, Benji. That is on you. Uh. What else is Twitter for than to misinform the public, Benji? What did he say? I don't even know what he said. I'm just fucking with him. He just said 14 threes away. Uh, and, okay. Got it. Uh, yeah. With great power comes great responsibility, uh, Mr. Woodholtz. This is true. Yes. Oh, if this no. goes in. Oh! <laughs> Jesus, Steve-O. Okay, so that's the record for the, that's the Nick record. He just said it. Okay. And that was, a, that was a classic Fournier shot there, falling out of bounds. Yep. Oh wow. I this is insanity. I the re, well the NBA record is 14, right? That's Clay? 14. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No way. 
Ah, uh, back rimmed it. <laughs> okay. What does that tell you about uh, back rimming it? Um, you just juiced. Yeah, yeah, and, but it just uh, to me it's a good sign. As like okay. shot was on and just came out of his hand clean. I'm so happy for him. I, I I don't think it's an overstatement to say he is everything that I think we, oh, we at on. least, I don't know about we, the Knicks, hoped uh, Fournier would be. There you go. <laughs> Up 30. There we go. Awesome. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. I'm happy we could watch this together. Yes, I agree. The last, the last few have been abjectly <laughs> insane. What was the last one we did? The Sixer game when Obi Gene and Obi came back. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. The one before that was the Hawks game when like nobody played. It was the game after Brunson went out. Yeah. Yeah. That was a tough night. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was a tough night. Yeah. Yeah, because that was a they were they hung and they hung and they hung and they hung and then it got away at the end. Yeah. Bingo. Man, that's wild to look at. Look at that efficiency. We needed to break out from him like this to make us feel because they need they're gonna need him down the stretch. Mm -hmm. They absolutely need him. And like a, a a question that I feel like we haven't like we're talking about. Okay, Brunson's gonna benefit from Randall coming back, and like we're talking about the rotation and this and that. I'm very curious about how we this guy who since the injuries has averaged 20 points a game now. It, we're going on, you know, two months. Oh, nice. Evan. Um, like, <laughs> how do you continue to fully utilize this weapon in your offense um, to the most, to, to the fullest of its, his abilities, it's, you know, and its potential. Yeah. Um, and look, the threat of Forney, of uh, Forney, of DiVincenzo is huge in, in its own right. So it, it doesn't, it's not like he needs to continue to shoot whatever, how many times a game, but like, I'm just. I want to see what it looks like. We'll yeah, see. yeah. It'll be, it's really interesting. <laughs> Nobody get hurt. There you go. Yeah, was, uh, please. No diving. Give it back game. to Devo. Ah. There you go, Josh. That's a nose for the ball. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Because they're concerned about DiVincenzo. Yeah. <laughs> like, he brought, Brunson wants to drive. Yeah. So, Jalen Brunson, quietly, because DiVincenzo went off, has 11 points this quarter. Good. That's a 20 good, for the game. Good get me right quarter for him. You know. Yes, I agree. All right, Andrew. What? You can get your view ready. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay, let's start here. I'm ready. Name the rest of the list of uh, Knicks that have at least nine threes in a game. Oh, I think they just showed it on the screen before, <laughs> but okay. I didn't look. So uh, I didn't had... look either, so it's fair. So F Fournier. Fournier uh, has 10. Uh, J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith's done it twice. DiVincenzo did it. DiVincenzo uh, did it against Utah, and now tonight. Uh, Julius. Did... Julius Randle never did it. He's uh, got eight like seven times, though. What's the question? Nine? Nine threes. Oh. Did uh, Starks ever do nine? John Starks did it once, yes. Okay. In 1998 against Milwaukee. I'm assuming Houston did it. Alan Houston did not do it. Alan Houston's it, highest but... is not on this list, so it's less than eight. Um, I know Spreewell had a 50 one. The... Spreewell did it That was the next name. Yeah. Okay. Yes, 2002 yeah. against Milwaukee, 2000, uh, 2003 At... against the Clippers. Alex and uh, David Crockett in the chat are both saying Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford, incorrect. Jalen Brunson earlier this season. Oh, Phoenix. Points, yes, against Phoenix. Yeah. Do we miss anybody? You have not said two names. One is a pretty good get. One is making me very upset. I I, th I am going to – I th thought – Oh, Gallinari. Maybe... Second Gallinari, year. incorrect. But what? that's a that's a good – that's he did Robinson. I don't know. I did it. It had an eight three-point game. Oh, uh, okay. A Robinson never did it, but also an eight three-point game. Again, there's one really thank you, Noah Dennis. Melo did it? it? Carmelo or Anthony, nine threes. Really good at basketball, that Carmelo Anthony. Uh, uh nine threes against the Atlanta Hawks. Not the got, double overtime game either. Did it yeah. in regulation. We got so we got there's two, one uh, more that's making you mad. 
No, no, no. The one that was making that was bad that she didn't say bad. the best oh, okay. horror in Nick's Sorry. history. So. Okay. And there's Did, one more uh, left. Crockett there's is one David more Crockett. that's a very interesting pull. Uh, David not, Crockett uh, said Novak. It's not Novak. Not he Novak. has an, an, eight point, an 8 3 game, though. Is it someone from like back in the day? Oh, I know who it is. Last decade. Who is it? Tony Douglas. Tony Douglas. Nine wow. threes. Against the Memphis Grizzlies work. in 2011. Well That's done, sir. Standing DJ. Yeah, yes. I, yeah. I was a Tony Douglas stand. If there was Twitter when he was a Nick, and it might have been Twitter, but um, if I was on there, I would have sent some tweets that would have I would have regretted. Mm-hmm. I was a we big all, fan. We all, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all have yeah. <laughs> we all have those. Yes. <laughs> those takes from from Nick's teams of old. All right. Uh, I seem to remember the, receiving a lot of them of like of the untouchable Kevin Knox, you know, <laughs> I would, you know, it makes him. sense that it was Frazier. The answer to the pre- the question about who played the most 48 minute regulation, 48 minute games mm-hmm. and it being Clyde. I'd like to know how many minutes or how many 48 minute games Anthony Mason played in the season. Cause I think, the Nick record for most minutes played in the season, I believe it's still Mason's total mm. minutes. I that, think if you want to Donnie check. Nelson year that year, I'm pretty sure that was the year. Yeah. Andrew, oh, please. Yeah. If you want to double check that. Um, and yeah, I'm curious how many times he played 48 yeah, regulation. You're saying they in regulation, they took yep. away a three from DiVincenzo. Oh, now, did they? Yeah, because it went from ninety to eighty nine. Uh, I hate I hate the NBA. That's really unfair. So it's nine of thirteen now. Get that. Um, looking ahead, maybe this is just me. Still worried about the Pacers, but like I'm. One step at a time, I want to secure that top five seed, and then we move on from there. And Pacers are in the L.A. to face the Clippers tonight. Mm-hmm. That's Second one night that, after an interesting loss last night. I saw. I woke up. So I didn't watch the game. Mm-hmm. I was. That was. I was spent. A lot of free throws. Uh, okay. I just a lot of free throws. Lakers shot forty three free throws. Oops. Um. But most yeah, three it, point most forty eight minute games in forty eight minute games in a season. I know I did single games, most total games matching the criteria in right, non overtime games. I think. Is yeah, I, I, I made sure of that it was just I, I did most. I did it a different way at first. This is minutes. Hold on. Who is that? Rodin. OK. All right. It is it is down to 27. You are correct. We got a super chat next break, by the way. Okay. Okay. Here you go, bogey. We'll see. We'll take it. Foul. Yeah. <clears throat> I I just turned on Sun Spurs, and it's the beginning of the third quarter, and Wemby is not in the game. Is Wemby off tonight? I'll, I'll double check because mm, – Not sure. Well, either way, troubling sign for the Suns that this is a basketball game. Yeah, no Wemby, looks like. And they're and and this is a three point game. Yeah, for Phoenix. I, man, Suns are mm, rough rough go of things right now. Okay, so who do we got in? Oh, uh oh, another turnover. It's annoying. I would say it was a successful third quarter, would not you guys? I, I would I would venture the same hypothesis. Yes. Get that up. Okay. I feel like he's been hitting so many threes. We forget that that MIDI has come yeah. such a long way. But like that's that's Yeah, and you know what? And it's also like him going away from the screen, which he's doing more and more. So he's reading where the drop big is and he's finding that opening either for a drive or in that case just a little pull up. So I looked the other day. So most guards, like high-level guards, are going away from the screen or rejecting about 18% of the time. He's at like 9%, so he's about half. But it has been. It seems like it's growing a little bit. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, Oh, my God. (laughs) You can't argue that. Unless he's saying he got pushed. Is that what he's saying? 
I don't know, but he's, he's making some kind of an argument. Yeah. I don't know what the argument is because he tackled that guy. <laughs> they say he got pushed. Okay. Oh. That's a that's a great classroom argument when you see one kid fall into another kid and then immediately the kid who. Oh, who Tibbs, what are you doing? What? He's challenging this. Great. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> Up 28. Fan fucking tastic. Oh, Tibbs, I love you to death. Yes, Benji, he is his publicist. This well, is a he's... hilarious challenge. This is a hilarious challenge. It's not like I'm not even criticizing. It's just a hilarious challenge. It's all funny. Up 28 for Bogey. Like, I, I need this. Bogey tonight in 14 minutes. He's shooting over 50% from the field. 4-7. Uh, he has 10 points. Uh, three turnovers to one assist. I don't think that's the ratio that it's supposed to be the other way. I think I haven't checked in a while. Um, um, so less than ideal. Hey, you know what? He was pushed. So John, what was your 48 minute question? By the way, how many, how close Anthony Mason was to Clyde's record. Clyde's record. It just popped up before was 15. Yep. 48 minute regulation games. I'm curious how many Anthony Mason played. 48 minute regulation games. He like we played the whole thing in the season I th that I think he set the Knicks minutes record, which I, um, I believe was 95 96. But I'm, I'm so let me go because he doesn't pop up on this list that I like. Number one is Clyde, number two is Willis Reed with three. So oh, maybe that, 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 so this is Stathead having a bug in it. Let me go look again. No, it, I don't, it probably doesn't have a bug. So, Hold on. The season that I'm talking about, by oh, the way, it's operator error. Yes, is um, 95, 96, where he averaged 42.2 minutes per game. So in that season, I'm looking at it right now. He may not have played very many 52 minute games. Um, he played. Oh, why 40... is that doing that? Okay, that's why that happened. It only what? did 1970, 71 for some reason. Okay, he's he wasn't close. I'm looking at it right now. He only played. Eight games of 48 minutes or more, and four of those eight were more than 48 minutes, meaning they were overtime games. So, oh, Tommy Tibbs, two for two. two. For two. <laughs> he should get a third. He um, should. All right. So, to your to your point, what you just said. First of all, weird stat: the Knicks have only had a 110 48 minute games in regulation. Mason in his career only has five with the Knicks. That's probably wrong because you just said he had eight that one season. Well, no, but four of them, four of them were in overtime games. Oh, well, then there no, you that's go. Probably not wrong. One, two, three, four, five, and he led the league in minutes per game back to back years. But the second year was in Charlotte. Yep, Deuce has one. Oak has three. Sprewell has three. Okay. Walt Bellamy has a ton. Well, well, tell me, played in the sixties. Yeah, <laughs> back when that sort of thing was like not crazy. It's. Oh, oh I thought that was going down. All right, reset, and then we'll do the the uh, super chat. Yes, uh, and and David Crockett, I do. It's early in my memory banks, but I remember how much Donnie loved Mace. Uh, that's that's in there. Okay, here we go. End of the third quarter. Knicks ninety five, Detroit. Um. 66. Uh, what is there to say about this game? Uh, first and foremost, Dante DiVincenzo. They took a three away, so now he is only, air, big air quotes, only 9 of 13 from deep for 33 points, 12 of 16 overall. Um, he had kind of started to bust out of his shooting slump in uh, recent games, certainly the fourth quarter performance against Brooklyn, but that is officially a thing of the past tonight. Um, other Knicks of note. Um, where do we go after that? Uh, Josh Hart's on a triple double watch, seven points, eight assists, 13 rebounds. He's been really good. Really nice game from Precious Chua, uh, seven and 10. Um, Hardenstein hasn't had to do a whole lot. Uh, he was a little bit more actively involved in the first quarter, but definitely involved in setting the tone. And he's just been really good when he's been out there. And then, um, yeah, McBride doing McBride things all night long. And how about the, this is again, why this, Game-to-game -game stat is kind of silly. Jalen Brunson leads the team in plus-minus, even though you could argue that this has been anything but a Jalen Brunson game. Uh, but he's plus 31, 20 points on um, 
seven to seventeen shooting. But you know what? Give them this. They to to truly put this Piston team to bed. Uh, Brunson needed to come out with a nice push, mm-hmm. or someone needed to come out with a nice push in the third quarter. Brunson got him started. Devo finished it, and now here we are. Did I miss anything? Uh, no. Uh, I didn't mention I- Bogey once. Benji didn't mention him <laughs> once. He's a minus two in the game. They're up by 29. I don't think he can. Um, so, uh, super chat from Michael Parker. Any news on Ananobi? I, he shot at sh- shot around. Pre- pre- shot at shot around. He shot, shot at, at shoot around. around. Yes. Yeah, shot at shoot around. That's the update, man. He shoot it at shot around. Yes. Shoot it at shot around. <laughs> um, what lineup do you think is going to be on the court when we get back? To start the fourth? Yeah, I think Dante's in. I will say that. I think they're gonna let him try and get, let him get the record. A tenth and eleventh for a three. God. I mean, again, we're sitting here. They're up by twenty nine points. It's the start of the fourth quarter. They have played effectively seven guys because Jericho mm-hmm. Sims has played four minutes. Um and Sims is still not in the game. Sims isn't in the game, it's bogey. So Josh Hart's still in. Dante still in. Deuce is still, still in. Deuce is going to end up, if he plays five more minutes, we'll play 40 minutes in a game they most likely win by 40. Oh, they put their defensive stopper on him, on DiVincenzo. Fournier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that gravity, DJ. Look at yep. that, guys. You saw that. Yep. And Josh There's Hart so much passing. Attention. Bogey by backcourts. Yeah, the passing on Hart, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with Kevin. I don't want to see Brunson the rest of this. Oh, Ooh. you know what? Give Precious credit for getting up there. He and, jumped. Mm, that that yeah. was a poor business decision, but he jumped. <clears throat> so I've liked his um, Precious's mic'd up uh, yeah. moments. He's yeah, he's been as communicating as a drop big and a defender. It's been just nice to hear him call coverages and. And all that. There was one where he's calling out weak, 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 which mm. is you're telling your ball handler to to force the the you're telling your screen defender to force the ball handler to their weak hand, which is a nice little ah. thing to hear. And that's a good note. Um, yeah. It's a, it's I, I was I'm happy to see this game from Precious after you know mm-hmm. again he played seven minutes against the Nets. How ah. foul them this face? I it's... <laughs> <laughs> who dunked that? Uh, Kev, that was uh, cheap. I always mispronounce his first name, Metu. Uh, and he doesn't have a challenge. That's unfortunate. Is that both of you? Is that would that potentially what? get overturned, or is Devo in his space? I don't know. I think Devo's in his space. Okay. Yeah, I, I That's agree. Fair. I thought it was my thought too. Ugh. So I have the complete list of Knicks who have played 48 minutes in a season. Like how many games they've played. So it really is just Clyde did it 15 times in 70 71. Bellamy did it 14 times in 65 66. Frazier did it again in 68 69 five times. Okay. Anthony Mason did it four times in 95-96, like as we, we said. And then Willis, Jerry Lucas twice, Clyde twice, Oakley once, three times each. Okay. Uh, and then Cassie You mentioned Russell. Spreewell did it. Uh, uh, Spreewell did it twice, yeah. The, the list of – then there's a bunch of guys that did it twice did it in this okay. season. Yeah. Got it. Chris Duhon's one of them. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah. Dave DeBusher, Jamal Crawford. So, yeah. <laughs> Josh Hart <laughs> snatching that freaking thing away. I think he needs two more points. Bingo! Bingo! Ah, mm. knock that down, Devo. How they still get the rebound is amazing. Ooh, close. bogey. Nope. Ugh. Not even close. What was he going glass on that? Yeah. <laughs> That's not what you want. That's the angle, John. Oh, Fournier. <laughs> Look at you having fun. All right, lead down to 24. Timeout. <sighs> Fucking. He's if they, be, if Brunson has to come he's going to bring Brunson back in. He's going to bring Brunson no, he's back not. in. No, he's not. I don't think he is either, but he might he's do it right a timeout. now. He might if just Brunson's do it right now. back in this game on the other side, I swear to God. Listen, 
No, don't listen. John, we can just say that's objectively crazy. Okay. (laughs) Come on. Well, they're getting. Can. I don't know if you actually. Can you talk to your boy? Like, I I don't know if like you actually are one mind. I will pay for the therapy for the PTSD. If the Knicks come back and lose, if the Knicks lose this game. No, if, because you <laughs> left Brunson in. Because you you told you left Brunson out. They're not gonna they're not gonna do that. What was the lead in that Memphis game? Was it ever over was it 21? So the funny part is he brought Brunson back in when they got it under 20. And that That's remember right. Brunson got hurt in that game at the end. Yes, I remember that. Because the lead got down to 12, and it was like, okay, now you have to bring your guys back in. Mm-hmm. And then Brunson got Holy hurt in the last couple shit. minutes, and then shit. Devo again with the heroics. So that's why that's the game I object to less because like Memphis hit like nine threes in the fourth quarter. Oh, that's right. They went crazy from deep. Yeah. So this Hawks Celtics game, it's the Hawks are winning. It's 107, 105. They were down by 30 before. Uh, See, let it be a lesson. That's that's hold on. Who's playing for the Hawks? Yeah, I'm just wondering, do the the Celtics pull their guys early? The Celtics were up by 30. And I'm looking at the I'm looking at the at the game right now. I'm seeing No, they have all their guys. This is Well, Jaden Springer is on the court at the moment for the Celtics. So okay. like Svi, Svi played 11 minutes in this game. Um but yeah, no, like the Celtics had Brown Tatum, Porzingis, Hart. The only guy who's out for them is, is Drew Holiday, um, and, and White. And, and like. wow, well, sorry, and Derek White yeah. is pretty freaking important. But still, they had a thirty point lead in the game. Yeah, really. I'm actually double checking what the largest lead was. It was thirty. I have it right here. It was yeah, thirty one. Uh, I'm on the Knicks score. It's thirty one. So it was thirty in the Celtic game. It was thirty in this. It was thirty in the first half. Uh, it was fifty. Jeez. It was fifty. Uh, I don't know, it was 50, like or very early in the second quarter, it was 30. At halftime, the lead was uh, 18. And then uh, Atlanta actually got within three, middle of the third. Celtics kind of pushed back, and then Atlanta took the lead here in the fourth by four points. Bro, give me this Celtics team with a healthy Knicks squad. Please give me this Celtics team with a healthy Knicks squad. Well, again, they're not fully whole, and I'm sure they kind of started to fuck around in the game. And again, they don't, they don't care. Brunson is yeah. back in the game. I, there it is. God, you maniac. <laughs> of course he is. And he got fouled. Now, how long does he stay in for is the better question. With Devo sitting down. <clears throat> I'm pissed that he's probably not going to get it. Oh, don't worry. He'll come back in too. Yeah. <laughs> This so mi- let's do a minutes check here. So in fairness, Brunson's at 26 minutes. Uh, McBride's at 37. DiVincenzo's at 36. Hart is at 35. That's like a walk in the park for those guys. Well, what do we say at the top? Like these guys came out like they don't want to play 40 tonight. McBride's going to play 40. We'll see if the other mm-hmm. ones do. Hart is in the game, so we'll see. A stop in a bucket. A stop in a bucket, please. He's not. He's gonna stay in for the next like three minutes at least. I know. I'm counting it down. I'm okay with that defense. I'm like very okay with that defense. Oh my god, Malachi. That is a wedgie. I, you know, I, I get you. There's not. I don't know what you do to change it, but it, the. Offense misses a shot and they get a basically a 50 50 chance to get the ball back. Yep. For the jump oh, ball. Missed... That's know. a great point. It's, I agree. It's a great point. I wonder if this is one of those like it rarely happens. So, yeah, it, like, it is super rare. So, yeah. why change it? But you make a good point, though. Well, the, I, it's 75%, you know, is usually your defensive rebounding rate. Yeah. Maybe they ball, should make ball the don't shortest, lie. Ball don't lie. They, they should make the shortest player on the floor for the offense tip it. Should. Do the ah, tip Ah, there you yeah. go. Or you should have you should not be allowed to use your hands. 
Mm. <laughs> Bad it. There you go, Josh. All righty. All right. 28. You know what this is doing? What? It's helping Jalen Brunson's plus minus. The important thing. The very yes. important thing. Oh, right, Josh, Josh is short of almost at a triple double. He wants another one. Come All on. right. He, this is okay. Let it take Brunson out for DiVincenzo. And let How the I... heart rebound, heart assist be for DiVincenzo's record tying three. Can I make a suggestion? What? Take Brunson out for Shake Milton. I'm oh John. My fourth quarter lineup would have had no starters on it. Yes, let's take him out for Shake Milton. For Shake Milton. Like Rick Brunson would have played the fourth quarter. <laughs> he ah, probably give him halfway down. A couple of good minutes. Look at this. Mm, precious. Well done. That's awesome. That's great. I mean, that's again. If that doesn't define this team, I don't know what does. They're up by yep. twenty eight here with eight minutes to go. You know, and this guy coming off of like a game where he did not play a lot is now back in here and is mm-hmm. just fights his ass off. Benji, are you still here? He literally, DJ, he literally tweeted the exact same thing you said that what? wedges what? being jump balls is a most nonsensical rule in all the sports. No, did he say <laughs> my goodness, both of you and your synergy tonight? Oh, wow. Or maybe just in general. You guys work together too much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm. Well done. And here's DiVincenzo. So he is back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Please let it be for Brunson. Or maybe it's for Josh Hart. Is that Steve Cohen courtside? <clears throat> I don't know. It was for. So Deuce is still in. Jeez. Deuce is not coming out until it's like three minutes to go. Oh, so it's the. the okay. It's the small lineup. It's the starters. No, with the, with I guess the the, that's what I'm saying. He took out Precious is back at the five. There's a rebound. Oh, he didn't need a rebound. He so Brunson, a please be okay. Ten assists. Now we need Ten a assists, lay up. The hardest point. thing for Josh Hart to do, hit a bucket. <laughs> Get the ball in the fucking hole. <laughs> it's the triple in the, in the um, you know, hitting for the cycle. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. Malachi, look at you, evil Dante. Hit one in good Dante's face. I heart is at the scorer's table. My God. What is happening? He's, he's mad. He's just he's the insane person. <laughs> Gortat screen. Love it. Precious. Uh, can you so elucidate for yeah, anybody so who might know what that is? When you're rolling to the rim, instead of rolling for the score, your score, if the offensive player is going to go in for a layup, you just screen your man and they you don't get a rim contest. It's a uh, Gortat for the Wizards did that all the time for uh, John Wall. So they kind of named it after him. Yeah, you see right here. So instead of watching screen Wiseman here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's a Gortat. That's uh, great. Hardenstein does that all the time. So if you watch him, he'll do that two or three times a game. Yeah, and Hardenstein's a brick shit house. So yeah, he, that's pretty effective there. Jess, yeah, Precious has been setting some screens tonight. Aggressive, t- tough screens. I agree. Is, is 40 up to 20? He has to be. Uh, Evan Fournier. Hold on. <laughs> Fred just had a great tweet. <laughs> nice shot, Jalen. Fournier is up to 15. Up to 15. Yep. <laughs> Look at Fred's tweet that he just said. What did Fred say? <sighs> All right, here we go. Come on, get it. Get it. No, he gave him a chance. Come on, Diva. The no, Fournier knows. He's in Fournier's <laughs> face, let's go. Fournier hasn't played this level of defense in years. He he's is locked life. in. No, his this is outstanding. Locked in. Fournier's, Fournier's, Fournier's like, like, not on my watch. Yeah. <laughs> I have so little. He wants to retain that record. Yeah, he is such a <laughs> SL boy, such a hater. That's great. Oh, man. Oh, you had your oh, chance. Oh, oh, wait, wait, what did fouls. I say? Now he's got two <laughs> shots for a triple double. All right. Let him get the triple double, then four subs, Tibbs. You're, it's like you're talking, trying to talk it into existence. Yes, I am. Please. Uh. 
Joshua. Come on. Got Triple Day. Double. Okey dokey. Josh Hart, Great and job, gentlemen. Josh. Well done. Oh, they had that ready. Good job, MSG. Oh, well, I would hope so. Yeah. Well, so what's I I'll shout him out in a second, but I believe his name is Ryan. Had it ready. Ah, oh, man, Michael Ray Ryan Richardson. He had some coming. years. And then Clyde with it. I mean, Hart, listen, Hart's going to have a chance to to tie Clyde's, at the very least, tie Clyde's record, which is freaking wild for a guy who didn't have one first career coming into the season. Mm. That's insanity. I wonder how someone's yelling. I think at Tibbs to pull the stars on like the crowd. Is just, that who said? I just I heard. A, hear I know you hear me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, Dennis. That's a good line. Yeah, it's all been in 2024. Yep. Have Have they been all since the injury? Since January 29th, or was there one before that? I was yelling at McBride, whoever that is. From uh, Danny Gardner, if Evan played this level of defense with half the intensity he has against us, he'd still be a Nick. That is accurate, Danny Gardner. Oh, Devo? Uh, oh. oh. Ah, he ran that's, out of gas. Ran right out of gas. Yeah, yes, he, he hit the tying three, and then they yeah. took it away because the league is stupid. It is a what you're, you're, saying, you're surprised. I'm saying no words. I'm just, I'm not surprised. I'm annoyed. There's a difference. Julemite. That is a good name, Jessica. <clears throat> I think we're going to get, I think we'll probably get four subs in less than a minute. Easy. All right. Oh, I had the same reaction, DJ. <laughs> every every time one of the players I want to play in the playoffs jumps, I'm yeah. terrified. Yeah, nobody should jump. They should all just sit on the floor. That's where I am. Yes. Evil Dante 3 should count as minus 1 for good gun. There it is. There it is. is. Okay. Oh, Tied the yeah. record. All right, give him one more. That's fine. That's fine. Let them score. Oh. <laughs> Mike Breen even knows. That's really fr – and that's his career high, too, mm, for points. Yes. Yeah, okay, which he said earlier this season, I believe against the Pacers in that game, the Knicks had nobody. Because it was the first game – the game – the day of the OG trade, right, I believe. Mm-hmm. Oh, he gets more points here. All right. Five so career high left. is career high is 38. So we can tie it here. Oh, oh yeah. that's the the weird kid. The, oh, Shake okay. Milton in for Brunson. Jalen Brunson. All right. So Brunson came back in. Hands did up Br playing. So Brunson, did he get to 30 or is he under 30 minutes? He is at exactly 30 minutes. Okay. okay. Listen, that's Exhale. He's fine. out of the game. And how many points did he end up with? 28. So it gets something I above his season average. There I've you go. kind of been paying attention to is his scoring because, like, he when he was on that run for for I mean, he still has a chance to to get pretty high up in the Nick all time record books for highest uh, scoring average in the season. Precious to the scorers table. So who's next after that? Hartenstein. The guy with the Achilles injury. <laughs> That's a. Mm. I'm okay with every play just being a Devo three the rest of his time in the game. That's fine. Of course they do. I don't even know who else he's going to put. I mean, I guess he put in Charlie Brown Jr., right? Literally anybody active. I mean, it's who is it? It's Charlie Brown Jr. It's Sims, Jacob Charlie Toppin. Brown, Jacob Toppin, Jake Milton. Let them play five minutes up thirty. Like Bogey, put Bogey back in. Put Bogey. Uh, you know what? There you go. That's your back line. No, he's got he's he's got the neck thing. Oh, dia dia kite dia kite dia dia kite. 
Him, yes. Oh, Precious is in for Josh Hart. <clears throat> well, Hart got his triple double, so it's fine. Nice round of applause. There you go. Also, oh, I'm surprised Hartenstein is not still in the game. That's a great sign, though. I mean, all joking aside, the fact that they – I mean, I think this is the most minutes since the injury. Ooh, so. juice. Oh, that was pretty. Uh, He's played more than this, right? He's played at least – sure? Yeah, he's only played 23 minutes tonight. Oh, that's it? That's all – okay, then yeah. I, stand, I stand corrected. So they've been conservative with his minutes tonight after all said and done. Dante! Best look you might get. Ah. Uh, man. It's okay. You think? So three Knicks are going to play 40. That's <laughs> wild. Ah, heart and shot. Uh, heart. He's, he's <laughs> wants like, okay. yeah. He wants one what? more shot. All right, that's that's the the grace I will give Tibbs is that it seems like the players are in on it too, and they. I understand you have to be the coach at sometimes and legislative, yeah. but he is also doing what his players want to. So. He attempted mm -hmm. 19 threes tonight. I th I know uh, Jr. has the record for most threes attempted in a game of 22. Did Devo get over 20 in one of the early games this season? Uh, what did he do that one game against the um, – that one game against the Mavericks when they – Oh, right. They had no, no one the was night of the All-Star break. Out, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's probably um, the game. Um, Let me pull it up now if he did it. Quick, Well, you're doing that. Quick recap here. So it's 115-89. Um, a night uh, – just, a, I mean, a, a, a fun night uh, for, for this team – DiVincenzo ties the record for most threes made in a game for Nick with 10. Josh Hart gets a six triple double, not only of the season, but um, just in this calendar year. Um, Isaiah or uh, Jalen Brunson has easily his quietest uh, 28 point game of the season, um, which, uh, you know, says, says a lot about him. And, uh, and there's Deuce of Pride again. Uh, he is on the verge of playing 40, four minutes yet again i wrote it in the newsletter today um that since i think it's february 8th no player in the nba has played more games of at least 44 minutes than dusu pride and he is on the verge of adding another game to uh that total josh josh hart second on that list by the way with with uh mcbride had six josh hart with five um these guys are doing what is Doing what is asked, and then some, and then some. That's correct. And then just looking at some of the um, shot chart stuff, Detroit is only eight of nineteen at the rim, which I thought was you know I looking at watching the game, I thought it would be pretty bad. It's actually a little worse than I thought, but I do think that speaks to what you know their fin finishing issues, but also Hartenstein to start the game really tough to score against, and his kind of keyed the next defense individually with his um, defense at the rim. And it's kind of carried over um, a lot of shots. In that, like, yeah. Short mid range area for Detroit. Just not, I think it's almost like he took away the basket and they've just stopped trying and instead are just resorting to like floaters, pull-ups and like the short mid range area, which you're not going to generate great offense from that spot. So he, he is, at this point, he is their stabilizing force on defense, you know, because you look at their starting line, but obviously, look, Deuce is a, a major pest. He's more than a pest. That doesn't do it to justice what he does. And Josh Hart is obviously a big-time defender. Um, oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. There it is! Oh! Good, Dante. That's awesome. Oh, there we go. 11. 11, oh, 11 threes, fucking threes in a game. That's insane. There you go. So you think the players talk Tibbs to keeping him in the game? I do. I, I very I much wonder. did. This is an ATO, yeah. and they ran the pin down specifically yeah. for DiVincenzo to get it. And then here's, awesome. the, here's the, the reserves. There you go. 
And Deuce wow. is still, Deuce is staying in. <laughs> they ain't coming out? Come on, man. <laughs> well done. Uh, Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah. Just above first, the minimum. First first 40 point um first 40 point game of his career also. Thank you, uh best hellboy for pointing that out in the chat. Mm-hmm. Um he's gonna break the he's gonna obliterate the season record um soon. Uh it's happening. And it, it's it's a good it's a good opportunity, and I'll I'll do it mostly on the post game, but just like to recognize what he has meant to this team. Um, and you could look at it in stages. I mean, just think this guy was at the beginning of the season, he was coming off the bench, playing like 16, mm-hmm. 17 minutes a game, you know, and from that to starter to I mean, DJ, I mean, he, there's no question. He's been their second option for the last two months, right? Yeah, yeah, and we talked about there was, there was games where you know it felt like stretches where he was the first option. He was a, absolutely any game Brunson missed, it was without question he was the first option. Yep, and it just a incredible signing, incredible growth. Uh, just it speaks to the kind of guy where you get someone that's in their mid twenties and you assume there is uh, they've already reached their ceiling, but he's he's had a unique career where he really hasn't had this sort of. Yep. usage at this level but even before like the injuries like he's been given more of a leash here and it, he's taken full advantage and, and if i could just speak on that for half a second his yeah. career was like he I, I know he had the great run with villanova but when he was drafted 17th overall by the box after his junior year not that he was a project project is too strong a word but there was they knew it was he was not going to come in and like be a big time contributor right away and you saw that as a rookie, you know, he struggled as a rookie. And then, but then you started to see it coming on, coming on, coming on. And then that injury mm-hmm. during their championship season changed the entire, briefly changed the entire trajectory of his career. And then he goes to Sacramento and then, I, but, and then starts to get it back with Golden State. And now you wonder, had he not suffered that injury, what his whole, maybe we would have been seeing this earlier, you know, um, we just, we don't know. But he's doing it now, and it's really just wonderful to see. Wow! And he's and he's not mid- just... under the under the full non tax player mid level. I know, which is just freaking wild. All right, now the only is Diakite in? Yes, he is. Okay, so now we got to see. Hopefully, can Clyde say his last name? That's what we got to yeah. pull in for now. All right, now just keep them under 100. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's – no, that's – listen, that's a – that's big. Yeah. It's down to 25, Kim Brunson. I'm not ignoring 24. you guys. I am I pulled the clip of the us reacting to the D-Bow oh, record fine. breaker. That's all. I'm just getting it ready for social. Yeah, it's shake. Not doing much shaking. <laughs> You're a Gideon. Uh, Daquan. The Hawks won. Whoa. Whoa! I, I, we were watching this. I haven't crazy. turned to my other screen. I don't know how they won, but they won by two. Give it now by thirty. Me Boston. <laughs> Listen, be careful what you wish for. I, I'm very okay if I look stupid for saying give me the best team in the league. I believe in my basketball. No, I, team. I, I know. I believe mean. in my psychopath head coach that's gonna dr- not allow a team to come back from thirty points down. John Macri, maybe if you believed in my psycho head coach, you would be afraid of Boston either. I don't think the Knicks. I I don't think they fear anybody. I I don't think this team. I don't think this team operates from a position where they would be startled. Like even Miami, the boogeyman, right? The Miami, he like. They played if they somehow if Miami like went up to sixth or something and they faced them in the first round, whatever it is, like I think they would look at that and be like, no, we're fine. We're better now. We're better than you. We can th- we can counter whatever you throw at us. Mm-hmm. We have the bodies now, presuming they maybe get a few bodies back. Like this team will take on any challenge. Doesn't mean they're gonna win whoever they face, but they'll they're not gonna be I don't think they'll be rattled. DJ, do you think they'll be like rattled? No, I don't think so. I don't think they were rattled last year at any point. It was just, you know. Some guys underperformed in the playoffs. Can we say that? 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. So if you want to say like Grimes individually looked rattled offensively, there's certainly individual players that quickly, that, you know, quickly at times. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just didn't, I didn't think that was like the, the reason why they didn't beat Miami at all. That's fair. Um, you know, but yeah, I, I think this is a different level of confidence this year. Mm. All right, 99. Okay, the 99. <laughs> dribble it out and hope they dribble it out too. Some tense moments here. Come on. <laughs> under it out. Excellent. Yep. What was the – after they got up by whatever they got up by, what would the lead get down to? Was six, 50, it was 16. 16. It was, it was 16. 16. It was 56-40 at one point. And then Jaden Ivey took a three that could have cut it to 13. And, yeah. Oh, thank you, Michael Aaron. <laughs> All right. He's very much a Cousin South special. Next Under 100, win, baby. Giddy up. All right. Uh, I'll uh, – uh, who, who do you want to go first, Andrew? Uh, you first, and then if you want to bounce to the post game, you can. Sure. Uh, Mark, Mark, Mark is here, so he can get you started. Get a little, get a little pee break in there. Um, uh, listen, it's uh, it's take care of business season, uh, for the Knicks. Uh, take care of business season started uh with the, um, you know, it started with the the last game, um, against the Nets. It continued tonight against uh, what what is left of a very bad Pistons team to begin with. And now we'll continue for another few games. And I think you are encouraged by so much stuff tonight for the Knicks, how they came out, how obviously certain guys performed. And um, this is a team that looks like as it has done in the, in the we here season. And as it did last year, it looks like a team that despite being without bodies that they would like to have um, is gearing up for a stretch run. Well said. Well said. DJ, you're up. Unless you want to hear um, what uh, Dante has to say. I want to hear what Dante has to yeah, say. We'll, we'll, we'll hear Dante. this and then we'll we'll send it over to DJ. Ah, uh, your media training. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about my teammates. They make me look good. All credit to them. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, is, is it the best players in the best fans in the world? Yep, that that's what we are, the best fans in the world. We are that. We are that. All right, DJ, we got. Yeah, just a, a fun game. Just I like that they didn't mess around, and they came out, and they were clearly looking to put the seam down pretty quickly. Uh, I love the Hartenstein performance. I loved, uh, you know, I thought Jalen in the third quarter just nice for him. There was a point where in the last two games he was ten of thirty-five from the field, so it was just good to see him get see the ball get through the hoop a few times in that third quarter. Uh, probably underrated performance for him just in the sense that I think Johnny mentioned it, you know, there was, the game was still a game and he came out and just yep. kind of put the, his uh, stamp on, on the game as he's uh, known to do uh, just a nice performance. And this is the, they're doing what they had to do in these le next last two games, important games. And they are going to have a tough schedule after the next couple. And these games are going to be important. Real quick stat yeah. before we send everybody, including John to the post game. Um, so on a night where Hartenstein, like you said, was a plus 27 DJ and had 10 rebounds, five assists and three blocks on a night. DiVincenzo breaks the three point record for the Knicks. And then I, Josh Hart is a triple double and uh, Brunson uh, as 28 points and a plus 37, just a ho-hum 16 rebounds from precious Achua. Whew. Oh, that's wow. A nice, that's a nice number. It's a very it's a nice, nice number. number. 25 minutes and 16 rebounds. That's, yeah. It's that's really nice. Insane. And then Deuce McBride again, uh, the shooting came back to life somewhat, but that happens. You play 43 minutes and you start to get overextended contributors up and down the roster. Yep. Mm -hmm. Even guys who are not supposed to be necessarily contributing, but here we are. Agreed. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Thanks for tuning in.